citizens of our Earth, today is not a day of pride, but purely of perseverance. At 1100 hours this morning, the Void League launched a surprise assault upon Earth-3. With this assault, a new level of escalation was capriciously executed. With this attack, any semblance of wartime agreements between our two peoples have been broken by the enemy engaging with capital ships and close orbit assault. As of now, casualty reports are unclear. Damage to life on the planet is unconfirmed. Evacuation orders are in effect at every territory planet-wide. We continue the fight in orbit and on land, the and we ask you to leave the battlefield you're making, it's, or to pick up arms at your local Time camera burst! We can't bust away from the atmosphere! Plane of Grey One, come in. Plane of Grey One, are you reading? Plane of Grey One. Plane of Grey Two, are you reading? Plane of Actual, this is Plane of Grey Two. We've engaged two unknowns along our projected route about, uh, four clicks beyond no dunk. Command vehicle down. One vehicle left, 12 surviving. Need assistance. Ash hangs in the sky. Smoke has drifted down this far south. Everything seems to almost sit upon the dirt with the man named Bandy. He lays down, faced shoved into the soot that starts to form on the very dirt he sits on. He can't see anything. He can't hear anything. At least, not at first. But it starts to come back. First is hearing. Distant sounds of crashing explosions. Is it artillery or is it just debris falling down from the sky, landing in long, worn out distances? He can't tell. It's too... There's too much. Too much explosions. Too much noise. He starts to hear the other sounds as well. The slightly closer sounds. Gunfire. More immediate. A quick spurt. Firing around him. Deployment. And then... It all fades again. It goes quiet except for those distant sounds. And then, someone rustles his shoulder as his eyes almost open up. He pulls himself forward and rights himself, looking around in every direction, regaining his senses. As he turns around and starts looking, he notices everyone scattered around. What the shit? Ugh. He stands up, ducking low. There's some shouting from around him. Different people calling out positions, checking who's still alive. Behind him, he notices his Corporal Agano pulling him aside. <sighs> God damn. Everyone, status? What's going on? Agano, shaking visibly, sort of pulls back to the side, ducking beneath, but still... Uh, frames. Alien frames. Uh, coming, coming from that way. Uh, we, 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 uh, one vehicle. We have, um, uh, twelve. Twelve. Twelve people. He sort of nods, pulls himself up. Everyone else has sort of gotten down low, crouching as low as their bodies can get. Ash and soot has started to form at the very top. Not enough to cover them into this dark abyss, however. They're still way too visible out here. The support unit begins moving up, holding its heavy machine gun and aiming up, up at the... He stops. He notices his other corporal, Grombi, standing in the middle of the road on one knee. Yo, this is so fucking cool, man! Bandy runs out, grabs Grombi, and pulls him back into the cover. Grombi, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he pulls him down, shoves him off the road. Sorry, Sarge, but look at that thing. Bandy stops, turns around, and in front of him, he sees something hanging. A, it's in the air. It's flying directly down, swooping over for yet another run. A strafing run against the very last of their position. 
as it comes down, it moves swiftly. It notices their small group position down here, its limbs beginning to float and shift, not even connected to its body. As it checks in either direction, the drones shift and move, and then, ever so suddenly, it begins firing, shooting down at the support drone before it even gets a chance to fire. And as it does, three drones skirt out and then move and all take their shots, preparing to shoot at every single enemy around the area. However, as it starts to skirt, moving around, the drone itself collapsing on the ground beneath the weight of the fire. It sort of shifts, its head drifting in one direction, and it almost seems to fly off this way and reposition itself. Shit! Hey! He turn, turns around. Um, Tanner, trolls, move up! Get by that tree! Two soldiers to the left start running up out of cover, pushing their way up to a tree and almost ducking cover, trying to get ready for something else that's coming. Something else moving ever so suddenly ahead. They notice it, moving near the rocks. This one's more familiar. The very first one they saw when their entire organization, their entire company, was ambushed. Moving up, a mech that almost seems to move with steps of lumbered, natural movement. It almost has veins from a distance, he can almost see it. It looks like a person just wandering along, limbs intact. Everything about its movement feels almost barely mechanical as it steps up. But he can make out the servos, the gears. He can tell that this is indeed a frame. It raises up its weapon, attached to a strange device on its back, some kind of ammo canister. And as it looks over, it tries to aim to fire. However, it stops. It seems to have heard something else. As it begins to look over in a different direction, it turns over to its immediate left. Someone else. Someone else is coming. It stops, and it turns over this way, as it notices a lumbering form approaching. A clunky, terrible amalgamation of metal. To its eyes, an absolute disaster of a mech. A frame not worth the legs it's standing on. But as it approaches, that mech turns over in its direction, and its legs start whirring, loud clunking sound effects as this thing begins charging forward with great speed. And the mech there notices, it can see, this mech, despite its grotesquely mechanical and industrial appearance, it's got a lance on it. Hey, Asher. Yes? As you move on up, you lumber onto the battlefield here, moving through flames, your smoke billowing out into the sky. As you step forward and already running, you found contact with this target way before he noticed you. And that means you got the first blow. As you move up, charging forward, and we go to combat immediately. Okay. Let's fucking go! So the first thing Asher's going to do is uh, comment to the rest of the people that he has first contact. Um, I found the enemy. And I've also found the patrol. And uh, then he uh, comes in again. I'm going to engage. And uh, what I'm going to do is... Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait, no, that's the fucking explosion. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, that's within my movement range. I'm going to move in to threat range. So that's uh, that's my movement action. Uh -huh. And I'm going to use a quick action to ram it. You move in. All of that steel and weight that I described previously becomes the focal point of your attack. Charging in, you slam your entire body forward and attempt to ram this thing to the ground. It raises up its gun, but after it notices how close you got it, instead pulls out a combat knife that seems to have been rested on its back. Go for it. Okay. So, it's on. Get the melee macro working. So, yeah. <laughs> 19. Uh, melee versus its evasion. It probably... That probably hits. Oh, okay. Yeah, that... 
probably does. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I'm seeing it either, actually, now that I look at it. Mm -hmm. For some reason. Oh, well. So you got a 19? All right. Yeah, 19. Yep, that does hit. That hits it. So it is now so, knocked prone. Okay. You move into this thing, smashing it back as the thing almost seems to hit the ground, smashing against the concrete of the road as it almost falls completely flat on the ground, not able to swing its knife up long enough or quick enough in order to fight back against you. It hits the dirt. Okay. And so afterwards, it's on the ground. And so uh, Asher uh, knows their pro like objective, knows what's happening right now. This thing is outnumbered, even though there's just normal civilian, like not civilian, normal military units unmech down there. He is back up on the way. Uh, priority number one is to capture this thing. So, mm -hmm. uh, taking the uh, minus one difficulty for capturing, I'm going to use my uh, other quick action to do a skirmish. Okay, sounds good. So, uh, that would be a melee attack, accurate from uh, my duelist, Duelist talent, and then uh, plus one from it being prone, correct? Yes. Right. So. <laughs> oh, I can't see them, so you just have to tell me. Oh, that was a nat 20. So that was uh, oh, okay. uh, 25 uh, crit, uh, seven damage on this prone target. So oh uh, my God. after okay. knocking this enemy down, uh, Asher is going to raise up his spear like he's done many different times and plunge it, missing the cockpit, trying to disable this unit for capture. All right, you bring down your lance. It smashes into the almost strange nerve cluster this thing has. And as you stab into it, you notice how they bend and break. You almost cut through these first layers, which almost snap with a loud twinge that you pick up through your outer um, uh, almost uh, microphones that you have on the mech to hear the battlefield when needed. And as you do that, you also scrape against a bit of the metal on the inside, but you pin this thing down as it almost slides loose. And then after you, noticing that you are now in a position to have it pinned to the ground, this thing raises up its knife and then almost slides against your lance, peeling off more of its body as it raises up to try to stab you beyond your lance guard. Yeah. What I get? That will hit uh, for four damage. Alrighty. So, you uh, manage to go in and hit for four damage, as or this thing goes in, hits you for four, as this actually impacts past your guard, cutting into your skin, but not, or cutting into your mech's frame, but not too far. Because as this thing almost slides back, you pull up your arm as it almost pulls away some of the metal. That knife is sharp and seems to be imbued with some type of extra strong tip that seems to tear away at metal at the touch. As this thing uh, attempts to stand up in that moment, pulling itself up using its movement and then launching forward again, it attempts to raise up its gun and get a shot off at you. However, you harass it with your lance momentarily trying to avoid the actual uh, assault cannon from firing in at you. So, because of that, it's going to be a little inaccurate here because it's currently engaged with you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, How'd that's that another hit for six damage. Oof. All right, so despite you harassing it, it manages to stick the gun around to your uh, mech's left thigh, blasting in and breaking apart some of the um, uh, plating. And in, in that moment, you feel a rock as your stabilizers are almost shook for a moment. As you look down and you realize those rounds, those rounds are not normal mech grade rounds. They're high impact. As oh. you notice that when firing, this thing becomes AP and deals plus four kinetic damage. Fuck! It now is Fuck. reloaded, so you're down okay, that's, now. Okay, that's different. I'm going to uh, brace. Yeah, yeah. fair. So bracing so, makes all this damage half, so that's six plus four, so that's ten, so I take five damage, right? Yeah, so yeah. in that moment, uh, as the fact of the first round's fire, you fully just break apart and just move to the side and almost let your mech collapse against the ground in order to avoid this thing... Um, getting any more shots. You raise up your little shield on your lance as the rest of the rounds fire on there, but you are locked down at that spot for a moment. Uh, Asher's going to uh, go back on the comms. This person has high impact rounds. Be careful. This thing's nasty. Speaking of that, 
Who would like to come on next? Um, I can come in. Alrighty, sure. Ooh, uh, really quick. Uh, we've mm -hmm. gotten the feedback to drop the music by about 5%. Alrighty, sounds good. I'll do that. I can do that locally. <laughs> uh, so, um... Eights. As you hear this call out, you move in almost immediately from behind in order to try doing your best to support this. You move up, also moving in through flames. And then landing yourself right around here. So. Alright. Um, yeah, now go on. I'm adding you on. It's your go. Alright. Um, erupting through the flames, Ace is going to hit this point in the clearing, activate jump jets, and try to land right on top of the mech. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, okay. So, uh, with that, uh, feel free to move. I'll refresh really fast to see if that helps my uh, uh, weird chat not showing. Uh, you can there. absolutely have enough range. You can basically, you lift off, boosting over the tree, almost knocking some branches back as you kind of jump on over there. And then your mech almost lands with a slide on the asphalt as you pull yourself back and land on next to that mech. Okay. Uh, almost taking the place of Asher, who just got knocked back. And, uh, yeah. So... You do that. Uh, what would you I'm like going to, do, to your actions? do that, and I'm going to attack with my charge blade, bringing it down as I collect, like make a, as I touch down. Okay, sounds good. You do that. Uh, just give me an attack roll as you land down, raising up your charge blade as heat starts radiating throughout it, and you bring it up and try to push it down on him. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay, I yeah, see, I see. 11, you forgot to target, yeah, yeah. Okay, I I still don't see it, that is so weird. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, as you bring down your charged blade, uh, how much damage was it? Six, Six. damage, armor piercing. Six damage? Armor piercing, gotcha. Yeah. So, you bring it down, and this guy gets pretty badly wounded by the charged blade attack as he sort of staggers ever so slightly and on his turn. Oh wait, hang on, can I like Oh yeah? Uh through the comms, Ace is gonna through uh ship inner inner mech comms, Ash is gonna look at Ash or Asher fall back. Take some time, recharge and get ready for another assault. He's gonna through loudspeakers to the uh crew behind him. Attention all personnel! Uh, farm defensive procedures and get ready for immediate evac. The sergeant on the other end, uh, the one who I named was Bandit, kind of steps up. Um, <laughs> Rombie's kind of looking over to the side. The corporal stepping by and like, who the fuck are these guys? Rombie, comply with that order for now. Go get Flutura and Beroslav on the right. He moves over. Running on in this side. Agano. Try to see if this thing will turn back on. He runs over to the side, and they start seeming to mobilize. Uh, and then, uh, Ace, as you sort of look on over, you notice something flying in in your direction. Returning back, this thing, this strange entity almost begins to fly back in moving with its limbs almost trailing behind it and trying to catch up along with multiple drones, it begins reapproaching your location. And as it does so, I'm going to start its turn. <laughs> so, as the enemy ace starts flying around this location, it manages to raise up five feet into the air and then also just kind of floating a bit above it looks over down at you guys and uh it sees asher over there it notices you're bracing and so instead it's going to try to shoot over at you ace ace versus ace warfare <laughs> <laughs> so uh let me just uh shoot this you notice that the drones drift around and almost oh. ignore hey. any sort of semblance of oh what did i do uh <laughs> actually uh on that he would have soft cover uh because he's uh, engaged yeah. Uh, in this case, as I was describing, oh. 
The door, the swarm almost seems to push back, moving around and ignoring any inopportune angle. This attack has seeking. Oh, okay. So, as it uh, floats over, you feel the, I'm assuming you feel the impact of three or four laser uh, shots against your legs, kind of rocketing your mech ever so slightly. And as it uh, does that, it will also um, use it. That was one of its quick actions. For the other action, um, it is going to use something called Strafe. Once per round, as a quick action, the ace can fly spaces equal to its speed in any direction, automatically dealing three energy damage to one character below or adjacent to the path taken. It will move over here and deal three damage to you, Asher. Uh, braced half. So what's three half in the system? So brace halves one attack and gives difficulty against others. Oh, okay. So in this case... I just take three damage. It, yeah. yeah, since it ignored an attack, it's just going to take three, yeah. Okay. Um, and then it's going to end its turn right there. He's also um, got a soft cover, yeah? Yeah, yeah but, but this is just like... Attack ignores yeah, it, so. It's pretty much reliable, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, next up, um, are we bringing in Seti or are we bringing in Doc? Please, I'd like to I'd like to show up. Okay. She's the fastest. <laughs> All right. Seti, <laughs> yes. you zoom in. Pushing yourself forward as you notice this flying ace floating above and uh, also an enemy engaged forward. One that looks like it's already an attempt to be captured for the most part. Uh, hey boss, we trying to capture this one? Points up at the flying one. Kill the fly. Okay, uh, <laughs> Seti looks down, looks at it whizzing around through the air, kind of scratches the back of her head. Okay. It's still technically experimental, but she reaches back and pulls out a canister of something, locking it into what appears to be a glove box inside of the lad. It locks in place and releases a burst of energy spreading throughout the unit. I'd like to activate my core power. Okay, sure thing. <clears throat> Do it. Studies. Mech begins to rattle and jump in place, emitting sparks. I'd also like to activate my flight unit at the same time. <laughs> sure, go for it. She's gonna take to the skies. Mm hmm And jut backwards, leveling her heavy machine gun at this thing, and she is just going to unload. All right, go for it, yeah. Okay, uh, heavy machine gun. Let's go plus one accuracy and, uh, Oh, I'm targeting onto that guy. Oops, hold on. Oh yeah, like you don't that. want to shoot someone by mistake. I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's fire. Miss, yes! Oh, damn. That's <laughs> she what is, talking about, baby! She starts flying around and like, you watch the least graceful flight you've ever seen in your entire life as like a comet. I'm gonna use my move to go up to, let's go like here. Mm, okay. She darts over here as she fires backwards with the heavy machine gun, spraying and praying in the environment she engages in the air. I'd like to overcharge. Okay, go for it. You overcharge, meaning that you're going to take some heat in order to do something again. Yes, indeed. Uh, she's like, you hear, you hear yells over the comms as she starts firing off backwards. The lad just whizzing through the air in a corkscrew. Um, okay, so that was my skirmish. Uh, I'd like to spend a quick on a lock and then fire again for another skirmish. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so I'm going to, you apply a lock on, you look at this thing and you get it trained inside of your uh basically your military software you installed has a pre-installed system that lets you lock onto targets and share the info with your immediate assistance you however will take in that immediately to attempt to fire again and shoot and get this thing along with your experimental system that you've installed inside you're gonna <laughs> see if you can turn this worker mech into a killer mech yes you can potentially <clears throat> There so, we go! 13 you damage, fire off. baby! <laughs> you see this thing going in as your shot starts closing, and the ace immediately sees you closing in on its range, and immediately it attempts to dodge away. You notice this thing moving with an unparalleled grace. No, grace is the wrong word. 
Instead, it is more of like, this thing's body almost seems to split away, falling in random directions, like in a, like a, just a collapsing pile of sticks, and then almost seems to reform on a spot, all of its arms and drones floating in. It barrel rolls. This attack oh. misses. Oh, excellent! Oh Seti, Seti watches this spinning. Oh, and then, uh, oh man, okay. Sorry, everyone, I'm going balls deep immediately. She, uh... Oh, God, uh... Her a uh, wicked grin spreads across her face as her lad barrels backwards and the once per scene. You know it! <laughs> She's going to fly forwards using that free boost I get a turn, screaming and shooting, just engaging this thing in a corkscrew of her own. Let's fire. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. <clears throat> Miss! Oh, and as it. you fly forward <laughs> in that corkscrew. This pilot shifts to the side. It moves so much faster than the simulated mechs. In fact, it seems to have a specific level of malice for you as, in response, the other action of the barrel rolls, it gets to move six afterwards. Lovely. As you notice, it almost <laughs> shifts behind, and then, and then as your turn ends, you're going to take two heat, yes. and its turn begins as it will immediately shift over in your direction, and it will just immediately... Uh, flying over here, not over there. Um, it immediately, all of the drones that were falling behind it almost stop spinning around you in that moment as it begins firing in at you immediately, almost forming a net of drones Fire around you yes! as it manages to sweep in. And you notice all of these drones almost doing a dance in the air. You can't keep them in your vision or your comms as this thing shifts around, every single individual laser flying out, searing through your cape, your armor, and everything as you take four damage. And she, this thing repositions in the she air. She ducks towards the ground. Like, this dogfight, this one moves so gracefully. Her moves are drunken and agonized but she like she flies towards the ground taking a crit and as she almost touches down the thrusters full on full uh full like fire the muffler in the back flaring to life and it sputters back into the sky <laughs> oh you raise up and fly like a rock barreling through the air you fight this graceful pile of sticks but you can beat it rocks beat sticks and you know that to be true <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, as you fly through the air, and the other one seems to be heavily engaged, duck. You stumble on in, moving forward, as you see, everyone's been pretty well engaged at this point. You've made contact with the patrol, everything seems to be going... It's, it's going, at least. <laughs> your um. hands, uh, shift to your control panel, your multiple clicking legs almost tapping on the lad. You feel anticipation rushing through your nerves. <laughs> uh, Duck, uh, essentially, uh, finally arriving on the scene, uh, opens, opens comms, uh, and, and basically goes, Duck unit, ready for battle! Uh, and immediately is gonna do a wide area code pulse. <laughs> okay! Uh, I so, think I'll I can do it this turn. way. Uh, if you, Consuming if you, the mech's core yeah, power. Uh, yeah. Yes. Bam, there you go. And um, uh, okay. to target so, multiple things, you hold shift and uh, click T on them, so you can like click tech attack gotcha. and hit multiple. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Shift T and this guy. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. Uh, so essentially, uh, I need to roll a tech attack uh, against mm -hmm. them both. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. make a special yep. invade tech attack against them, ignoring visible line of sight. On yep. hit, apply the effect invade as normal, choosing op options for each target. On miss, yep. targets become impaired until the end of their next turn. Another That's thing is. is that with the Chomolonga, uh, my my current frame, uh, yep. any tech attack that I make scans them automatically. Alrighty. So you're going to notice something immediately as you prepare to fire off your code pulse you attempt to scan these uh, alien frames. And mm -hmm. as you do so, a bunch of nonsense starts popping up on your screen. As you look at this, Ooh. you're scanning, but your systems have no real understanding of what code they're breaking into. You can still do it and you sort of push it through, but then that's when you realize you really have no idea what you're looking at. Oh! Your scan doesn't reveal any information about their systems. <laughs> 
Oh. So, oh, okay. Very nice, very nice. So, as you end up scanning them, you then attempt to make a uh, tech attack against them. However, another piece of information becomes apparent to you. You're going to need to add plus one difficulties. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so, give it so... a go. Uh, yeah, so I add. Okay, so I go for tech. Um, hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Sorry, I'm new to this. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, okay. So essentially, so it's it's an invade. Um, can I? This is this is a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Tremolunga has uh, gained following options for invade with balance control lockout and system crusher. Does that mm -hmm. count for this, or should I just do a basic tech? You can do either. You, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You can do. Yeah. Yeah, you okay, can, so you can do any I tech can, attack with it, so that includes yeah, your system okay. pressure. Any invade up. option, yeah. Yep. yep. So that Very works. nice. Very nice. So give me two tech attack rolls. Yeah. Uh, it is not working for some reason. Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, Pressing um, a bunch of buttons, it doesn't seem to be uh, doing the thing. Hold on. Yeah, text, text and uh, melee seem to be a little off. Yeah. Here, I'll. Uh, I think I can do that for you. Bam. There we go. Ooh. Nice, thank oh, you. <laughs> I, I'm supposed to add a negative 1d6, but that hits anyways, so I'm it's not really concerned. Let me do the other one and I'll add the correct calculation. Good shit. Good, Good stuff. Shit. Let's see how the other one does. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, okay, yes. so uh, despite the difficulties, you're no stranger to code. You managed to hack in both and deliver this uh, invasion package to them. Which one would you like to hit them with? This is so fascinating. As he starts uh, going on, <laughs> going nuts on his fucking keyboard, trying to understand what the fuck is going on. Um, <laughs> this is an invade, so he's essentially going to try to. Movement seems to be a big problem, so uh, he's going to try to essentially do the uh, ch -ch 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 fragment signal, uh, feeding false information and the random gotcha. bits of signal into their systems, so that they become impaired and slowed until the end of their next turn. That's oh, pretty good. Um, yeah. The adding aspects to this with the Chamolonga that I'm going to try to put in is mm -hmm. uh, Syst is a balance control lockout. Push your target uh, two spaces in any direction and knock them prone. Uh, uh, so I'm essentially trying to knock that fly out of the sky. I see what uh, you can, mean. Can, see you, what can you do imp the fragment signals in those at the same time? I only think you can uh, choose one. Oh, I can't do, yeah, oh, yeah, I can't yeah, do yeah, both. Sorry. Do okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah. I think, hmm, uh, I think, I think I'm going to go fra fragmented signal so that they're slowed Sounds specifically, because yep. I get the feeling yeah. that prone is going to be very temporary. <laughs> <laughs> so with that in mind, the last turn of the combat, this, uh, this enemy has been cornered over here, has suddenly received a shock to its systems and it looks in either direction as it's almost been surrounded ever so quickly and easily it decides that this is not where it wants to be right now <laughs> so as a result um it is going to attempt to uh disengage and leave that's going to be its full action mm -hmm as it runs over here and attempts to duck down behind this uh, truck. It's going to give it soft cover since it's not really enough to um, yeah. uh, get it. It's a bit damaged. And so since it dis uh, disengaged, uh, Ace can't get an attack yes. of opportunity, yep. right? But yeah. it's slowed, so it only gets here, actually. Sure <laughs> that. So, um, as the next uh, sequence of the next round starts, the enemies go first since they started second last round. Ooh. So, because he already went one turn, this assault ends up getting clearing that from the previous turn, and he's just going to move again, and he's going to fire. Uh, let's say he shoots at. Um, he'll take the. Um, he'll take the negative. He'll go ahead and try to fire at you, um, Asher. Okay. He fires forward. Uh, misses. Reliable oh, too, though. But reliable too, which means Fuck. you take two damage, which means you structure. Which I structure. So when you structure, we're gonna get a structure roll, see what happens to you. Yeah, all right. And you're down to three. Yeah, structure roll. Uh, taking structure, roll these six to determine what happens. 
Five. Glancing blow. Uh, impaired until the end of your next turn. Impaired. Yeah, yeah. What does impaired do exactly? Um. So, impaired. Mm -hmm. Uh. Let's do. Also, I just realized uh, he's still loaded because uh, that's what happens when he fires the impact round. So actually, fuck it, go up to full again. Um, you're that. You're back to two. Screw it. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, impaired usually just gives you a, a difficulty to do everything. Um, and uh, yeah. So in actuality, uh, no, he's just going to use his uh, stabilized thing to uh, reload his weapon. Oh, thank God. Um. Now, he's trying to leave the battlefield. My own rule for this is uh, whenever you or an enemy reach the edge of the battlefield, you can try to retreat, and at the end of the round, you will leave. Mm. And uh, that was his turn, however. Uh, that's that's all he's got, so who wants to go next? Oh, fuck. Uh, so, uh, quick, qu quick question, because I can't remember off the top of my mm -hmm. head. When I brace, yeah. what do I have left afterwards? A quick action. A quick action? I right. so mm -hmm. I can't, like, repair or anything. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, hmm. Fuck. Mm. Let's hey, uh, if they're at the edge of the map and they're not prone, uh, can they still leave or do they need to, you know? No, they need to stand up. <laughs> they need to stand up first? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go? I mean, no, I'm looking at I'm looking at you who has multiple means of knocking this dude on his ass uh, yeah. if you want to stop him from I, I would have to. I would have to, uh, to do that, I would have to... Uh, do I still get my movement after I brace? I don't think so, right? Nope. You yeah. only get a quick action. I'm, so I'm stuck there for now. Yeah, so I'm kind of stuck here for right now, so I can't really, like, even if I... I mean, if I boosted, but yeah. then I could probably do it. Ah, sure, Keep fuck it. Overheat. Fuck it, you've, you've got a once per scene initiative, bro. No, I don't. I'm a chumalunga. Uh, yet. Oh, yeah. 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 And besides, you cannot <laughs> so, take any other actions after bracing from oh. anything. You can't even overcharge. Oh, I can't Damn. even overcharge? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, no, you're, you're sort of stuck there right now, my friend. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my quick action. Uh, mm -hmm. to lock onto the grass mech. Mm. Okay, sure thing. And that's it. Sounds good. So that'll be your go. And then um, now it's going to go back to grass mech. Yeah. As it, uh, now it's going to do that thing I said it wanted to do. Yes. It's going to shoot at you, Asher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but actually, also realizing um, uh, it can it can draw a line to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think that's coming. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, okay, that's six. That hits. Okay, so now we go through with that. You know yeah. what? I'll just I'll let you uh, take, take the, thing the I did. previous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Does yeah. that with yeah. soft cover too? Uh, you don't. I don't get soft cover because you only get that when you're engaged, and that's like melee range, right? Oh, okay. So, the way so you're now that he's yeah. out of yeah, yeah, now yeah, that yeah. he's out of range. Gotcha, yeah, 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 gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> yeah, I take uh, two damage, so I take four onto my neck, so I'm at ten HP in my next thing. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, and then I, uh, structure, uh, mm -hmm. wait, I can just, uh, can you fix my structure since, uh... Yeah, I, sure, I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. as, as you, um, as you sort of stand up and lock on, you notice that this thing is also looking directly at you as okay. you end up sort of pulling that and ignore that, we're going to go with the Imperial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. As, as this thing sort of pulls back, it raises up an assault rifle to get some kind of shot in at you. And it manages to give you a whack before uh, pulling back near the edge there. And then, uh, after that, it is going to be uh, someone else's turn again. Mm -hmm. As uh, the only thing it's going to do beyond that is it's going to uh, target SETI in the air. Ooh, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're all in agreement, fuck this grass thing. Yeah, should I? Yeah. Uh, uh, we changing targets to the grass thing? Uh, oh, the grass thing was always the target, yeah. Oh no, I mean, not for me. <laughs> oh well, yeah, no. I mean, yeah, right? you, you've got okay, you've got okay. a different rivalry yeah, going. Yeah, no, on no. Uh, if you guys want to, I'll go first and then leave me for last. I get to decide yeah. if I'm gonna continue to make mistakes. Yes, <laughs> I am. Uh, I'll go next. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. Ace so. is gonna look over at Asher. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. It was only minor damage. All right. Uh, I'll go and try to lock him down. Uh, give me backup when you can. Will do. Uh, a, you're going to hear the sound of uh, an engine sputtering to life. One shot, one, two, and on the third, uh, on the third sputter, it catches. Um, <laughs> the mech is going to jump, All right. beat boost, and uh, with the momentum... Bring my charge blade down on him again. 
Okay, sounds good. And you have a, if you consume the lock on, you'll get a accuracy on it. So when you uh, yeah, click your icon and t then target them, you can see where there's like a consume lock on button. Yeah. 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 Uh, do I click the do I click the lock on button? There's a consume yeah. lock on button in the the little yeah, thing pops up in the bottom right. Click on your weapon. Once you uh, use your weapon to attack, it'll automatically pop up as an option at the bottom right there. Uh, oh. So you uh, consume lock forward. on there. We yes. go. Mm -hmm. So you run forward, boost in, and get that extra bit of distance as you feel your mech charging forward and reaching up to this thing's range. You bring down this heated blade forward and attempt to smash into it, barely catching it as you manage to pierce into it. And as you do that, um, you deal four damage. Uh, no, it's AP five damage as this thing takes a structure damage and goes back up to full. As you notice, you oh. cut away bits of the armor. Oh, oh, never mind, no! never mind! No! Yeah! <laughs> oh, damn! Okay, you run forward and this thing pulls back, ready to lock the blow in order to sacrifice an arm if it means it gets to escape. But, but, it underestimated the power of your blade. Perhaps seeing you as a simple ramshackled mech pulled together by a resistance movement, it did not expect this blade piercing directly down through your arm, or through its arm. As you pierce through, cutting off the arm, cleanly I should add, and then you break down the blade into the mech's frame and cause it to almost crash against the ground as you almost Press the heat of the blade up against the edge of the mech, shutting it off, and this mech is defeated. Let's oh, fucking go! We were oh, covered fucking in go. PvP! James! 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 Yeah? Once per scene initiative, help me tackle this dude out of the sky! <laughs> uh, Alright, yeah. alright! Keep in mind, can I... five spaces in the air, so. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Um, hmm. So, you want, would you like, uh, okay, yeah, I don't know, yeah. Yeah. Would you like a suggestion if you want to be ballsy here? Um, well, I've got, uh, I've still got my Nexus killers. Those are basically Oh, drones. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, you can do that. But what is, what did you have for ballsiness, uh, Sky oh, Voice? Goodness, sorry, I, Sky Voice must apologize. You don't have enough speed to reach up to attack um, with melee. So, you can't, I was going to say you could boost into the air and then use your overdrive to swing and then just fall to the ground, but... You do not have the space space to reach it where it is floating. I would suggest shooting with the hunter killer. All right, Ace overcomes target down neutralized. Focusing on an aerial target. Launching hunter launching hunter killers. Gonna so target. You uh, unleash uh, a drone out from a patch on your mech. It launches up almost before rotary blades spin and takes it up this thing equipped with a pretty effective yeah. cannon begins to fire forward and it does that's a oh, crit God. that is a yeah crit. oh god it was against the wrong target but but uh, it, it still yeah. hits yeah. Oh, yeah. um and because of the uh it doesn't have its recharge yet so that means um this hits yeah you deal damage to this thing as it almost is rocked suddenly by a surprise if seeing you moving up it's that didn't it didn't expect to lose its partner so quickly as its turn pops up and uh did not get that back uh reacting to that it flies off in this direction and it too is going to attempt to flee um as it turns around and uh on its way out it's going to shoot down at you uh it's going to use the strafe action to start, which means that you're just going to take three damage. Okay. And then it's going to try to shoot you again with its Nexus Swarm. As as it flies down, you notice the, the swarm almost seems to move in a direct strafe beneath you. And then it almost shifts around and uh, fires its Nexuses directly at you. Oof. Using the strafe and a normal movement, it manages to get to the edge despite being slowed, dealing four damage to you, putting it to a one. Ooh. I'll put you there. <laughs> and then 
Uh, that's going to end its turn, ending those effects. And Seti, would you like to go? Uh, are, my uh, are, are my hunter killers still in effect, or is that just uh, a... One that's a one, one attack for now, yeah, yeah. so you can okay. still use them, yeah. Doug, do you want to try to bring it out of the sky? What are you thinking? Uh, so here's the thing, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. With balance control lockout, if they're already prone and I succeed, they're immobilized un uh, until the end of their next turn. Oh, yeah. Immobilized so I think you should go first. Them. <laughs> try to ram it while in the sky. I, okay. Yeah, that's actually what I was thinking. Okay, so I've got my one free boost for my core power. Mm -hmm. So I can make it to it. Okay, okay. Let me let me think about my action economy. I can skirmish, shoot, overcharge, shoot. Okay, yeah, we're doing it. Um <laughs> Okay, let's uh let's uh let's start by um uh SETI SETI just sees it start to fly away and just like under her breath mutters. Oh no. No 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 <laughs> and starts to fire after it. Uh let's fire from a distance. Skirmish heavy machine gun. Uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. plus one accurate. Mm. 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 Overkill mm. baby! <laughs> oh nice. Also, mm. I should mention flying characters do have immunity to prone. Oh, oh, oh damn. okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Okay, uh, in that case, that changes uh, my action a little bit. Okay. I am instead barraging. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. So what uh, was the first one? I didn't pop up for me. That is 13 damage. Okay. Um, it takes that going down there. It's going to structure, and then it's going to take nine more damage. Yes! Um, oh, God. Okay, next one. Make that next attack. Uh, assault rifle, and I'm overcharging immediately afterwards. Okay. I will take this accurate. This has reliable on it. Nope, okay, this. you miss, but the reliable damage goes through. As you fire enough rounds in the air, while well, despite dodging, you eventually catch this slippery flow, knocking limbs off its body bit by bit, as finally a few shots hit it on its server and it, uh, its central head, and it seems to go down. Uh, and now, let me make a very important roll. You may Ooh. still exit as normal. Oh my god! What? What? What, <laughs> what happens? Uh, I'm not actually going to tell you because you wouldn't know since it didn't activate on its 2 plus roll. Oh. This thing falls out from the sky and hits the ground normal as you would expect it to when you destroy an enemy mech. Mm, I squint at the... I, I, over squint at the I overcharge immediately and get on this thing's ass. I'm not letting it do whatever the fuck it's gonna do. Seti is literally pancaking it. Okay, <laughs> you move over and uh, go land and smash down. Um, <laughs> combat's over. As Ugh. suddenly the adrenaline rush almost seems to cease and you're all left with the sounds of distant explosions and two destroyed mechs. You smash into this thing, breaking down anything that seems to twitch and move. You have one successfully captured mech and another disabled mech. I, mm, the way that you phrase that's interesting. Yeah, Seti mm, is going to immediately just grab it and hold on to it, and she's gonna start tying it up in her cape like, I, I, think, I, I think I got it, I, I, I hit it, I got it everyone. <laughs> okay, drag them out to the middle. Drag, drag, drag. <laughs> you drag these out, putting them down on the street. All of you kind of moving back forward as you start to regroup in the center area. Oh, uh, Asher, clear the way, clear the way, clear the way. Okay. She pitches to the side and boom, boom. <laughs> slides, kicking up a layer of asphalt. Flight unit success, everyone! Round of applause for the tech team! She gestures over to Doc. <laughs> uh, as soon as you gesture over to Doc, expecting, uh, uh, like, congratulations and stuff, which he would do normally, you sort of see that his mech is sort of going around and you just feel the ping of the radar. Miss Seti, if, if I may uh, propose a humble request, could you yeah. fly up and see around for our surroundings? I have uh, a hunch. Okay. Uh, Seti, your heat is getting really high after that last round of flying. You need to stabilize first. She touches down and is she's like, yeah, just give me a sec. She's going to sit her mech literally down on top of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Let me hit cool. <sighs> Duck, I can do a quick jump in the air if we need to. 
I would just, I would simply really enjoy to be able to know if we are getting ambushed or not. All right, sounds uh, good. Asher, you uh, you notice um, a bunch of the troops kind of moving up, and one kind of like moves up, kind of sees all of you, and just kind of like points to uh, a bit of a headset on its mech, and kind of like points down to the ground, just trying to gesturing at you guys. Uh, what what uh, Asher's going to do is just approach this guy, uh, and uh, can we patch him into our comms for a quick second? Uh, yes, you could. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the impersonal means, but I am not leaving my mech in this sort of situation. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, he kind of, uh, checks up. Uh, who are you guys? Hmm. <laughs> Asher thinks about that for a second. Helpful friends. Alright, cool. Um, can you, uh, help drag that out of the ditch? He kind of points over behind him at, uh, this, uh... Uh, APC, which seems to have fallen down. Sure, clear the way. They kind of clear out a bit as you uh, sort of move forward. Yeah. Um, uh, he sort of uh, starts shouting out. Uh, he clicks off the beat before he does it as you notice him shouting and pointing. And you notice troops starting kind of moving around the area and uh, sort of positioning around rocks. Uh, there seem to be different viewing equipment they start to use as they sort of like check around. People start to check these different vehicles, which have been almost left to the wayside looking for any survivors you'd imagine uh sky voice can we take a moment to uh stabilize now if we're yes uh not okay. full repair but you can uh stabilize spend any points on your repair or anything like that that's totally fine yeah yeah uh oh yeah and then you can just get rid of the status oh. effects and stuff right, wrong. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah i can maybe get rid of my impaired and shit yeah uh, so, uh, Asher's going to quickly, uh, drag this, uh, this tank out of the ditch. Alright, you, using the, uh, basically just, using the lad what it's made for, you drag this thing out, and kind of deposit it on the road again, as, um, uh, one of the soldiers kind of goes up, uh, gives you the thumbs up, and she sort of pops on and starts opening the hatch again and kind of gets inside. Um, mm -hmm. one of the other groups of soldiers they kind of move up you know as one of them starts opening the hatch and taking a look at it um over the comms again uh you hear the calls of a. Uh, this is um staff sergeant bandy by the way we recently sent on a patrol are you with any sort of um are you some kind of are you civilians where'd you get these these are these are these are ladybug units aren't they yes they're ladybug units from a construction company Kind of looks back and forth. Damn. How the hell construction companies get better funding than us? Crazy <laughs> shit. He we sort of like moves over this way. <laughs> and then, uh, uh. Genuinely fair. <laughs> yeah. We make do with what we get. And what we've got is apparently. I mean, <clears throat> and. Mm, uh, apparently what we've got is better than what they've got. <laughs> uh. He sort of goes over as, uh, it seems there's some kind of commotion. And they, uh, um, uh, pull out, uh, one of the, uh, someone from this vehicle who seems to kind of move out forward. He knows he goes over, and, uh, he sort of seems, to, I don't know, uh, you know what, actually, um, mm -hmm. if anyone's got a pilot skill that they think would be appropriate for sussing out intentions, or uh, any sort of, like, attitudes or anything like that. I have people, spot. You have spot? That would be a pretty good one. I'd say go for that, Asher. I've got, yeah, I've got Rita's situation. That would be very good. In this yeah. Situation. Five. Can I, can I throw uh, read? Moving stuff? Yeah. You, would you read investigate a also work? I guess. Nope. Read a situation is what I think. Gotcha. Would be gotcha. Best. Yeah. Toss. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, that. It seems like there's some form of chain of command being established here, and you notice there's a sort of like shift in attitude between some of the troops you've seen here versus um, this new man who just walked outside. You can also sort of tell that the man that just walked outside seems very jumpy. <laughs> he sort of turns around and he kind of raises his hand forward and then the sergeant takes off his bead and hands it over. As this man almost steps up, he sort of sees you guys and he's just like, this is, uh, is Plato 3 unit. Who, who am I speaking with? Uh, the, the, the mech lumbers over, which obviously is just, like, not a, 
not like the safest thing ever because it's just like it's just like you know but this is how people talk so he's Asher's yeah. just you know uh he move over moves over hello a pleasure to meet you uh we're from the arca construction company but it's not like much of a company exists anymore after the glassing do you have any questions um he just kind of looks over as he's just like this is a we we all right all right we're going to update that um arca construction you said currently uh, fucking, yes bandy get me a notebook he kind of runs over and uh hands him one and he starts to consider crap we have any we have any comms online no sir he kind of do you guys have any active com communications on hand not currently the concerning thing is you didn't have any communications then how did you send out that signal he, he kind of uh turns over in this direction and is just like signal did a signal get through to someone um, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, Danny kind of approaches and just like, we sent out a signal about two hours ago. Um, and I think it might be bouncing. Uh, I, I don't really know, sir. Does that sound correct, Duck? This direction. Uh, Duck, make me a... Uh, uh, Hack or fix, maybe? Yeah. He seems to go over and talk to someone in his battalion for a moment. God, I am there's I don't know why I click on things they don't seem to just uh they That's don't weird. seem to pop up the uh the what lets me roll essentially. Uh, make sure you click sure your happening. click your mech beforehand. Yeah, I, I I'm doing it. I'll just yeah. uh, work But also there's like the shortcuts at the top right, you know. Yeah. This would be um I'll I'll roll your hack and fix for you real fast. Yeah, it'll be a, it would be a 1d20 plus 2. So that's yep. a yeah, yep. 16. There we go. There a 16. Go. Okay. Uh duck, you actually think it's it's very likely that they don't have communications, not because they lack communications equipment, but because they can't bounce a signal back to, they probably left the range of their HQ, but you guys are nearby. And despite you guys having a tower, there's nothing to really bounce off of to connect with anymore after what happened. You think you're the only ones who can hear each other out here. Well, you're the only ones besides anyone else in the area, which mm -hmm. you check over two alien mechs were in the area. There's probably more, but you were able to spot those immediately. Can Duck with this hacker fix know if this signal is still bouncing? Um, it seems like it's stopped. And you imagine because you see three destroyed vehicles here, you probably imagine the signal ended up getting smashed. Gotcha. So, like, so like uh, I guess to, to, to precise my question, as far as Duck is concerned, there doesn't seem to be a risk of uh, the signal being picked up by other enemy units in the area right now? Not right now, no. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Duck's going to come in on the comms and basically say, It would seem that we are both completely isolated comm-wise. That's good, but also terrible to know. <laughs> okay. Um the lieutenant kind of comes back. Um, he sort of uh, uh, checks over and, and sort of gets on the comms again. As of now, with the power invested over me as a military officer of the UAA, I am taking command of this group. Um, he sort of um, uh, sees, if you are all willing to come uh, to fight, then I would be the one in charge of this current operation. If so, we need your assistance setting up a new communication point nearby. We need to report all of this back to our HQ. While if you would please, we need an escort. While I'm willing to work for you, you're not the one in command, it's me. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> uh, hey, um, yeah. uh, Seti, make mm. me a, uh, read a situation again. Yeah. <laughs> She's tapping her foot inside like, mm, negotiations are going Right. <laughs> she sort of mutters off to the side. Let me grab this. We're in a situation. It's hard to read stellar. a situation when you're inside of your mech. <clears throat> it's hard to get emotions, see what's going on here. But the lieutenant um, looks up. Actually, that is not so. You are currently positioned inside of a mech. I am first lieutenant, and I have final say over the operation we are doing today. If you are currently acting in the uh, any form of 
Um, he kind of uh, checks over, thinks about his words carefully. If you are performing any guerrilla actions currently, that would put you directly under my command. Do you understand? <laughs> Look around you, sir. The area is on fire, ash is raining from the sky, and your men are barely holding on by a prayer. Do you really think you are in any position to give us orders? Um, you would do well to acknowledge and realize that the situation is in our favor. You're asking uh, us for help, so you should be cooperating with us, not the other way around. 1d20 roll. Uh, 1d20! Okay. He Ooh. turns over and he says, um, the only thing going to hell here is the chain of command. You have to understand that these things have rules. We thank you for your assistance, but you currently require us to... And upon that note, um, <laughs> one of the soldiers from behind kind of just steps up and uh, he uh, kind of says, Sir, I'd like to advise that currently we are in need of desperate a situation. Civilians would not be aware of military code, and I believe we should do our best to negotiate fairly. He sort of turns away. Sergeant Bandy, I am still in command. Yes, sir. You understand that my final word in this situation is what must be followed to the letter. Yes, sir. Simply attempting to help negotiate, sir. He sort of stops, turns over in every direction, and then he sort of like looks around and he sort of finally takes into account the situation. He sort of sees the burning mechs, the destroyed aliens, the APC scattered throughout, the combat doll that's almost been scattered around down on the road, and a feeling of panic almost seems to run through his body until he sort of stands up straight and he uh, turns up to Asher's mech. Well, what would you like to suggest? We work together, but these people are under our own command and your people are under yours. Simple as. Uh, he sort of uh, checks around. Combat distribution of command is very important. Which one of you should I be talking to as my equal? Asher looks over to the group. <laughs> Uh, I know, I know what Sunny's idea is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sunny's Asher, like whist you, whistling what? a little bit. <laughs> Asher, do you want to handle this or should I? I can handle between, it. All right, but don't. But between feel the, free to but, speak up. I'm not much of a leader. Of course. <laughs> if uh, consider me, uh, what's the word? Second fiddle, co-captain. <laughs> first made i don't <laughs> regard i have experience dealing with men like him so if you need any assistance or muscle let me know it's kind of incredible that we managed to put together an entire squad of people who want to fly under the radar mm. ah sucks for us i guess <laughs> she stretches in her cockpit <laughs> before we go any before we move, make another move seti mm. i need you to can you fly up and give us a quick survey of the surrounding area. One condition, you take my seat. Okay. She's sitting She's <laughs> sitting on the angel neck still uh, cross-legged. <laughs> Solstice lumbers over, kind of grabbing, oh. kind of holding oh. this guy by the ankle and pops a squat right on the other one. <laughs> yeah. So you stand up and you swear you almost step on a private and kind of screams and runs back <laughs> as everyone just sort of shakes and looks around. <laughs> She's like, my bad, my bad. Um, okay. She stretches to her full height. Let's stick to the sky with a little more grace this time. And that same system. And it starts to jitter back and forth and just lightly mists its way into the sky, blasting everyone below with smoke. Yeah. <laughs> more smoke. Always more smoke. You fly up into the air and with what moments you have before your mech starts to experience overheating, you gaze around in every direction and you don't quite see anything yet. Um, as a uh, stepping up, uh, you seems like the area is generally secure, at least within your line of sight. Uh, she swings the mono eye moving back and forth, scanning the horizon. 
doesn't look like there's anything out there. Just as, hold on, I'll get a little closer. The hiss of the static getting hard. She approaches the ground again a little worryingly quickly. The private scattering around her feet. She touches down with a slide. Nothing. Same as, same as before. Hmm. Okay. No news is good news. Doc, can you run a scan on this thing? He, they, they point to the mech that they're sitting on. I'm not sure, but might be anxiety, might be premonition, but I don't like the way it went down. She sits next to you. Doc, <laughs> uh, uh, question. You know that, you, can I do this from where I am? Um, Doc, you know that right now, you, to learn about what these things do, you're going to need a, a session of studying carefully, and that's not really what you yeah. right now. Um, Unfortunately, I'll... due to the exotic nature of this technology, I have not yet enough of an understanding to be able to access this request. I would need more time. Mm. Well, then let's get out of here and find some bit place a bit more fortified. Uh, my only advice in this, uh, cur in this current situation would be to keep one for study and destroy absolutely the one that uh, we are worried about. Mm -hmm. uh, your comms discussion is interrupted as the uh, first lieutenant calls you up again and is like um, alright, so I'll be speaking to uh, what, are, what are, what's your name? Just refer to he me as Arca over. 1 Arca 1? Very well um, he uh, sort of uh, turns over, well then Arca 1 we're going to get repairs on this done and then we're moving out We've got to be able to set up some form of communication tower. We have a general location that we're going to be heading to. We believe that should be adequate. Very well. Steps off this way. Um, one of the soldiers kind of checks up, looking past, kind of looks directly up the eye and sees your frame. And he kind of just gives like this kind of thumbs up and he kind of shouts something that you can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> You eyes like. have uh, about 45 so minutes until this deploys. I will say that's good enough for a rest. So if anyone mm -hmm. wants to spin repair to restore structure or, oh. you know, all that stuff. Oh, God, yeah. So I can spend, like, one structure to... Uh... Yep, because you're in the lad, you can spin. You have replaceable parts. Yeah. You so... can uh, spare one for one structure instead of two. So, yeah, so definitely worthwhile. There's one... Uh, and then I get, get my get my shit back. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, how do, how do I fix that on my my own? Uh, fix what specifically? Oh oh yeah yeah. Oh wait wait wait. I guess I can repair a structure with like a. Yeah, like how do I, how do I like repair a structure on my bar? Oh okay. Um, to repair structure, yeah, you can go in and manually change it up the form. That'll be fine. Yeah yeah. I just don't know where. That's the that's what I'm at. Oh. oh. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Um. Oh, the, oh you, this uh, three to four. There, that should. Yeah, be. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Okay. Uh, so, Continue everyone's on. got the repairs going and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. With this forty-five minute block, um, how close are we? Probably can't leave the combat area at all, right? Um, you could leave this area a little bit. You're if you're asking how close we are to base how and all that stuff. To base. <laughs> I can move you to a um, bit of a better screen for that. Um, so, Sunny, like, if I push my mech really hard and overheat the reactor, I wonder if I can make it to base and back. <laughs> so, let me show you something. Uh, let me just load this up, and then uh, reload. There we go. This is where we are. Mm. I, we don't As you... Yeah, we don't Token know. with vision, oh. yeah. Yep, yeah. don't worry, I'm placing a camera here. Oh, cool, cool. Okay. Um, this is the area around Angra Spaceport. Ooh. Ooh. This is Ingressed. Or at least the spaceport far away from Ingressed. Yeah. Uh, we were up here, where you re-encountered Plato 3 2, and mm -hmm. you successfully defeated Zed 1 and 2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As those two are disabled, and they are now within your control. Okay. As you see, uh, a bit far away, there is Ingress Spaceport. Um, marked on your map is the location of where this radar array is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Hmm. So it's in the complete opposite direction of where our base is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, hmm. Could we bury them like a dog bone and then come back for them in these 45 minutes? <laughs> you are in range of your own base's communication. You could call up someone to come down and basically grab them for you after you leave. Okay, you so can even move maybe them I'm... a little bit and then like away from the area just in case they have friends on the way and then mm. call it in from there. Maybe I'm paranoid, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The flying one, I don't want to bring back home. Oh. <laughs> I... oh, yeah? But in character, yes, out of character, that is exactly why I want to bring it home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like we have, we have no reason to be sus suspicious about it. So I think mm. we, I look, bring it home. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck, fuck it, we, it ball. we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Yeah, no, that's yeah. my vote. Okay. I, I wanna, uh, <laughs> I wanna, I wanna bring that one home. Let's call it pops. Okay. Uh, you call in, uh, and pops is on duty today. He responds. What's going on? Uh, we actually managed to. We succeeded in the mi we succeeded in the mission. Um, Good well, job, not, kid. not the not the uh, bigger mission. Thank you. <laughs> 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 she 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 beams at uh, at the comms like uh, yeah um, flight unit work great. No, uh, we succeeded at the very first um, mission capturing we we captured two uh, two two max. One of them's really badly damaged. Uh, I kind of lost my cool a little bit back there. But the other one, um, Ace and Asher did a great job of, like, locking it down and cutting around the cockpit. I I, th I think it's salvageable. I think it's workable. The the other one's really cool, though, so I'm hoping we can get something from it. <laughs> he uh, kind of considers that a little bit. He's just like, I see. Good job. If we can get them back, I, I can send some people out there to go retrieve if you need that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I, I think there is a lot of people back home who would really like it. Uh, I hope it's workable. Uh, we'll take a look. Fine. Any complications? Uh, she's gonna catch him up on the current situation. I see. He uh, considers <laughs> that, and is just gonna be like, "All right. Well, you tell the nice man we're going to do our best to help our good friends at the UEA." And. Are we all running on fuel, weaponry, and, uh, well, mechs? How are your uh, bits doing? Uh, I immediately blew the capsule for the flight module. Uh, I think I'm burnt out on my end, but I think everybody else is running good. Ducted his wide scan thing that you guys have been working on. It was really effective. Uh, somehow, it's all working. It's, it's all actually working. <sighs> That's good. <laughs> uh, tell Ducky you did good. Uh, I, I try to every single day, sir. Um, he, <laughs> he's like, right. Well, if it comes down to it, you always know where to get back. Good luck. Be careful out there. Right. Uh, good luck with the max. Um, <clears throat> we're, uh, we're doing it, sir. He, uh, kind of, uh, just gives a good salute at that again, uh, which you cannot really see. It's just something he does on his end, and you hear a bit of a snicker come from in his, and just like, oh, shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, right, sir, yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> after that, um, you all sort of uh, are, are left as Pops gets back to work on his end, and now we have our own journey to make. The time will be up, repairs have been made, and now you have a journey to complete. A new objective has been added to your quest. Your third objective. Let's um, go! So, uh, up until now, you successfully completed the objective to find the control and defeat the frames, but now you have a third objective in order to complete this mission. Mm. You need to secure communications. <clears throat> Ooh, in the war, you'll have a good idea of a bunch of information. You can have a scouting reserve for future missions, and you'll be able to salvage uh, a couple of things from the wrecks here in order to get that vehicle. After all, they are just leaving it back there. True. So, that's ours now. now. That's yours mm. now. So, now then. Um, it's time to go. Mm -hmm. Leaving along this path, you start to move with the patrol, moving all the way up to leaving the 
Uh, Zed's basically positioned back and behind for another pickup crew. You start moving your way over to this listed comms point. Now, you have to sort of readjust a bit because over the past couple of weeks, more and more fires have begun to spread. Rubble has begun to mm. fall down throughout the ruins and surrounding areas around Ingrest. And as you start to move and close in, time begins to shift. But the sky is ever still on Earth 3. This entire planet locked in one eternal twilight. As you move, your mission counters start going up, your fuel reserves start going down, but you are within your operational limits. As you begin moving in closer with a fully functional intact APC following behind you, you get status reports along the way. And as you go, you begin closing in to this next location as starting to sort of form up you make out what appears to be a there seems to be a couple of hills up ahead you've gone up on the top of a ridge which seems to be uh close in terms of elevation to how angress is rested which makes it make sense that you're able to get a signal up here even despite everything happening around you as you begin to approach um the title of the uh apc plato 3 2 ends up calling out to you we're getting close to the deployment area how do you want to do this uh, so our plan is to have uh seti scout up from the air correct mm. <coughs> seti so he's like roger yeah uh should be should be pretty easy to scout the area i'll try not to build up too much heat mm -hmm. all right so seti if you want to um, uh in this case give me an agility Ooh. Check. Ooh, I get a I get a bonus if I'm flying. Uh huh. <laughs> Love to see it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. Mm -mm -mm. Agility plus one. Resources. Wowie. Let's go. Wow. Oh, okay. No, oh, that, that that bonus helped. <laughs> okay. You managed to uh, fly over, and as you sort of check the area. Um, you manage to avoid some uh, rising heat as you sort of fly around, and you do get a sort of um, positioning where you could have swore you saw another frame up ahead, and you're pretty sure it saw you too. <clears throat> uh, she'll immediately report that. Yeah, they're definitely waiting for us in ambush. Good instincts! Mm -hmm. You actually, as you sort of uh, narrow back a bit, you sort of look one more time, and you seem to be moving in a hurry. They don't... They're. It looks like it looks like they're evacuating. It does seem like they're moving in a quick movement. It seems a bit scattered, disorganized. Hmm. We've sent them scattering. Uh, what should we do? Well, I guess this is a good time to move up since they're scattering. Hmm. If they're running, they have a reason to run. Yes. And hopefully. Asher thinks about it. It could mean they have some a reason to run, which is something we would have to deal with, or we can move forward quickly and deal with that thing they're potentially running from while they're <coughs> dealing with the enemy. <laughs> uh, what are the odds that we're the thing that we're they're running from? Hmm. Pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I hoped. <laughs> so, as you sort of land down. Um, you end up sort of pulling up and as you go all of your mechs begin stomping through this patch of area on this larger hill as you all move the APC is trailing behind its treads running through the soot and the dirt you're all moving up smoke is choking the air as ash begins to catch on all of the nearby trees as you're moving it becomes more increasingly apparent with time that the forest is burning pretty wildly but even still the biggest problem is the smoke all of this ash floating in the air it's starting to mess with your sight lines and mm -hmm. as you sort of begin approaching a little bit closer you begin to notice that immediately ahead you 
you think you see those maybe it's those enemies again they were pulling back but as you sort of catch a glimpse something just moved nearby a bush it was small smaller than a frame at least at least the ones around your size you catch that visual and report it setting mm. uh, and mm -hmm. yeah no what do you want to uh, do after that can i make a search action yes uh which i got a plus one for my uh, personalization right yes Right. Uh, so, so fuck. How do I do that? That's the that's the big question. Because uh, a search action uh, 1D20 is just one d twenty plus one d six. One d twenty plus one d six. I. Yep. Ooh, Ooh lovely. Ooh, gosh. Okay. Um, you end up seeing and yeah, as you uh spot something you notice there's this small frame that was moving around in the forest and you notice that it has these little drills for arms and when it sees you uh your eye kind of shift over you see it slam its fist into the ground activating the drills as it almost goes underneath the ground <laughs> and <laughs> as that happens i'm gonna call a five minute break and then when we come back <laughs> We're back in it. Oh, let's go. So, oh, oh, I'm loving this. Oh, I'm loving okay. this. <laughs> All righty, gang. Well, hey, hey, everyone. Hey, Chad. How's it going? Hey, Chad. You hey, having Chad. fun? You having as much fun as we are? Enjoying uh, the tension. <laughs> oh, I should, I should pull them out. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank yeah, you guys for coming out. Thank you. This is really cool. <clears throat> I'm happy to see everyone. One... Uh, oh, my God. That frame. One head, two arms, two legs. They're just like people. They're just like <laughs> us. They're humans. <laughs> They're humans. <laughs> uh... <laughs> this is the best. I'm going to use the bathroom really fast. This is so yeah. fun. Cool. Yeah, same. Uh, and thank you all the new people coming out, too. Uh, this is uh, Lancer No Home and Twilight, uh, made by our yeah. great uh, GM Christian. Uh, oh, this will be uh, on every Friday that we can manage. Uh, 8 EST over here on this channel every time uh, pop a follow if you haven't already uh, and uh, we also uh, put these up on the YouTube the next day on uh, the Stabbiness YouTube so uh, check all that stuff out yeah no, this has been great so far I yeah I'm fucking loving this I, I'm so glad I was able to make it yes I'm uh, glad yeah. this has turned out okay for you yeah don't think I can stay a lot longer no problem with that man there's always, mm -hmm. always going to be VODs and stuff like that but I appreciate you coming out so far yeah, this yeah. has been great. Loving this so far. Oh, Good man. work on the setting, Christian. Yeah, dude, the vibes Thank are you. fucking yeah. immaculate. This setting has been pretty fun to work on, and so far everything's been interesting. We've, we've only been seeing like a, a small oh, snippet. Sliver. This is directly yeah. tossed in the middle of it, no context, Dex, just yeah. let's fucking go, and it's been great so far. Yeah. Thanks, Savvy. We're doing, we're doing good. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh it's yeah. wonderful. This has been super fun. Thank you. Yeah uh yeah uh, so, so, it, so fucking cool. there's only so much you can do of reading <laughs> the system and like play testing it because when you're in the actual thing you'll be like oh fuck i forget everything now i'm back mm -hmm. you know it's just yeah like, absolutely <sighs> oh man it's great yeah oh oh my god that first oh my god okay so i was being so respectful I was being so <laughs> respectful for literally not drooling the entire time I was looking at the angel. <laughs> no, I, dude, I'm, oh, oh, I'm so oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah right. If, if that was the first one that came up, we would have taken that. The angel looks so no, but like yeah, yeah. The legit. It's so cool. I want the angel to revive and be my rival. That is yeah. my dream, bro. <laughs> so yeah, it's you know gonna what's... be great. So I have I have some news for you. Yeah. Um, I can tell you now because yeah. after there's no more angels in this session. Yeah. And uh, you did capture one for at least scanning and learning its yeah. basic trait. I've given all the alien frames a basic NPC trait applied mm. to stuff. Uh, the aliens NPC trait is... Yeah. Uh, I'll post it in chat really fast. Um, this is what almost triggered. Oh. Um, let me... Let me... Uh, uh, let me make sure I, I just post this correctly. Yeah, yeah. Um... I've okay. found your chat open, so people. Alrighty, see. so uh, here's here's this. 
Uh, Reincarnation drive! <laughs> when this NPC is destroyed, roll a 1d6. On a 2+, plus, their wreck and body are teleported to either an alien oh, FOB boy. or a ship in orbit if oh either is God. On a result of 1, the reincarnation drive fails to activate, is destroyed, and the wreck is left behind. It's you J totally J got J it on J that J one. Christian, you know what is, that means. Yeah. Yeah, you know what we yeah. can do with this? You know, you're you following me, right? Oh, yeah. God. We can get the yes. reincarnation drive, fix it up, and then teleport yeah. to an enemy. Giving the Covenant back their <laughs> fucking bomb. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, we legit bombs. We we know we know that they port to their ships, and this, guys, this, this, I point to it. That is my dream. <laughs> yeah. uh, for those who don't oh. know, uh, this isn't just Lancer. This is a custom setting made by Christian. And also a bunch of custom mechs uh, made by Christian. Yeah. While a lot of us are piloting the level zero mechs from Lancer, uh, those alien mechs that you see are also have license and stuff that we don't know about, uh, for I... example. And so we've been uh, going to try to capture them so we can potentially use them ourselves. Hey, uh, hey, yeah. Christian. Yeah. I want to ask one question after reading okay. this. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a pilot in there, was there? I actually can't answer that yet because you haven't breaked into it. But actually, no, you could, a... you could yeah. look inside. There was yeah. a pilot. There actually was a pilot. Were they alive? Uh, not anymore. Yeah, you okay. You can't really tell if they were before. So, the mm. reincarnation drive's phrase says, on a result of one, the reincarnation drive fails to activate slash is destroyed and the wreck is left behind. That secondary effect, that motherfucker might have reincarnated. Ooh. That guy can still be kicking around. Yeah, you oh, don't know that's yet. cool as fuck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't know how it failed. Um, yeah, exactly. So, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, oh, are, uh, if just they so fail, you know, a might be dead. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Just so you know, I'm rolling a basic attack. It's just to see if I fixed my my problem. Okay. Sure thing. Okay. Yeah. Seems seems like I'm good. Nice. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love I love the I love Jay's like I'm glad we killed it, but boy, do I hope it's not dead. I hope yeah, it's yeah. not dead. Yeah. I want that motherfucker to haunt me. I want oh, that frame, everyone. God. I yeah, want right, it yeah. on my desk in the morning. <laughs> I, I, oh. man, I love a good rivals to rivals ship, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, so, uh. The romantic tension between me and the mech, I fucking down. <laughs> uh, every, everyone's back, uh, everyone ready to yeah. fight that, uh, drill goblin, that fucking, uh. Yeah. God, yeah, let's go. The borrowers, oh, yeah. Okay. It's time for tremors. Fight the drill gobbo. Uh, so. <clears throat> um, Ultra, man. Let's see. Okay, let me just, um. Get some stuff ready to go as you all mm. approach in. And as I said, you're about to get ready for a really good fight. <laughs> so, okay. All right. So now this. Now this is going to be a real combat. <laughs> oh, right. boy. So you all approach. The ash hangs in the air. As you all end up moving on to this location, you see <laughs> a bunch, your grids activate and you look across the battlefield at all of the different things here. Over here, you see a bunch of enemies Fuck. located and oh, arched around bell. a hill. And as you gaze at the these bell, enemies, though. you see a form of one that looks familiar, another one that seems similar in make, but has four legs, a large, almost bell-like frame that looks bigger than anything else you have, and some more of those drillers in the distance, but no sign of the ones near you next, as mm -hmm. we all go back over here, your ACP rolls on up. <laughs> and oh, uh -oh. <laughs> now, it's time to go. Oh so, boy! Is this an escort? We're putting... No, this, my friends, is a recon. You can see Point Alpha, Point Bravo, Point Charlie, and Point Delta throughout the map. One of these zones is the true capture zone. You need to do a search action on it to find out if it is or not. And if you control the true action zone, meaning you're in it and an enemy's not, by the end of round six, that oh, fucking means shit. you win. Oh, 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 shit, okay. So, now, up above you right now, you might notice you have a single unit there. Um, mm. Yeah. This unit is an ally for this engagement. It has the archer stat line, which means it's really good at suppressing Oh, people. fuck, yeah. If oh. it dies, a human squad will deploy out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so you technically God. have two allies, but 
this they're they're safe right now. They won't be if they that thing dies. Um, so someone can pick to control the NPCs whenever they happen. That's just mm. up to you guys. Um, yeah. But for now, let's go. To let you know, you've got three more elite enemies and then two grunts standing along the way that are hornets, yeah. sat mm. lines, and then a sentinel, aegis, and cataphract. If you don't know what they are, aegis is the defender mech. Sentinel and Cataphracts are uh, a striker. Cataphracts are striker. Sentinel's controller. The Hornets are also controllers. Now then. Uh, can we just, for us, and I guess the audience, can you just, before we start, quickly explain the color coding of everything on the map? Yes, I will. So then, to start. All of this red terrain is hard cover. The blue terrain is soft cover. This purple stuff around the fire, that marks dangerous terrain because that is hot. That'll mm. burn you for five if you move through it. Oh. Furthermore, that is currently blocking line of sight because of all the smoke floating around the area. So consider that a line of sight blocker. Okay. Um, the yellow is obviously the deployment zones uh, and the objectives when it says points. The ingress zones are where enemy reinforcements will come in uh, to tell you straight up. Um, you imagine if there are any more of those sneaky digging guys, they would be coming in from reinforcements. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so then, that's everything you need to know. And with that, combat begins again. Okay. I have a vote immediately. I'd like to go towards Point Bravo because I can cover Alpha and Charlie from there really easily. Plus flight, I can fly over the size one. I'd, I'd like to be in the middle of the map. Yeah, yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. And you can All go right. first if you want. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm down. <laughs> All right, fish balls. You're at full HP, by the way. Make sure I'm going to put this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Okay. Um, let's, oh boy, uh, Seti is going to, like, touch down, move across the ground. I'm going to progress on foot just to make sure she'll move. Five? Oh, fuck. <coughs> You're moving the... Oh! Oh, uh, how do I, how do I unselect our ATV oh. friend? Uh, you can just drag a, uh, a spate, like, you know, drag a bar. Like, oh, across just drag me? And, okay, yeah. lovely. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <Yep>. <coughs> okay, um, she's going to make it over here, and, uh, hmm... Let's boost to. Uh, That's pretty good. Here. You have like the size yeah. one cover and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh, it's fine. No um, and then for a quick, I can basically set a set a reaction, right? If somebody pops out. Uh, if you if you have a reaction, so basically how uh, mm. that works is yeah. you use a reaction, so like a quick action to set another quick action you have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sick. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, I think. I'm going to check that one more time because uh, it says prepare another quick action. I don't know if it's specified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yep, uh, yep, yep, it does. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So. <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, let's, can I roll it back to my first five? Let's sure. go over here. First five. Yeah. Set a quick action. Uh, I'm setting a reaction. Somebody pops out. I'm skirmishing. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Somebody pops up. out in range. Okay. Next up, mm -hmm. the enemy temple will go as it moves three, boosts three, and it is going to activate its defense net. Oh. Cool. It spreads a powerful shimmering repulsion field over a burst three area. When active, it is immobilized. It can no longer move. However, uh, all ranged melee and tech attacks against it or objects within the area will receive two difficulty and cannot result in critical hits. Wow. Uh, other guys on Whoa. the inside can attack outward normally. So, uh, <laughs> that deploys, and Holy you notice shit. as this thing, which you described as a temple, almost seems to glow with energy. Oh, the entire sphere forms around That it. thing's so cool! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with that, um... Who wants to go next? Because that's all it's able to do right now. Um, uh, I'm gonna follow uh, Seti and take up the yeah, middle uh, as well. I guess I guess I would say just one thing um, mm -hmm. is that so uh, this is this is not me saying oh it has to be me right like because I know that yeah, yeah, it's yeah. essentially triggering another enemy action but like I can try to bolster people like before we move yeah, out yeah. of my range and stuff mm. um, if you guys want but well, that's just a suggestion. Yeah, I feel for it. Yeah, basically just to describe my plan and what I'm doing, I move a little quicker than everyone, so I am sticking with the melees. I'm making sure that I move together with you guys. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think getting the melees moving forward is good. Bolster right now seems wise. 
just uh, yeah so um so christian so mm-hmm. sorry questions if i overcharge and i get qu- uh, three quick actions could i bolster my three allies uh one would be you doing a full tech which i do think allows you to use uh the yes, same tech action multiple times and then if you boost for a extra yeah. quick action you could indeed uh bolster three your three allies yep. So, yeah yep absolutely gotcha and i guess okay so it was it but only boost no need for overcharge yep because you have the the uh once per scene ability that lets you do that oh right 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 okay mm-hmm. okay uh and if i then overcharge then i can move on top of that yep yes Okay, awesome. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna overcharge, and I'm gonna bolster uh, with a full tech uh, plus a boost bolster three uh, the three other players. Yeah. Um, and then with the overcharge, I'm gonna move. Uh, let's see. You have... Can I move over there? Uh, no, I can't. So hey, you also have your you base have movement. you have your base move. You don't even need overcharge. Yeah, remember a full action is not does not consume. It's movement. two. Tw- it's oh, your two clicks. Right. Yeah, you can so still I just go move. there. Yeah, yes. potentially. Yeah. And you would be in hard. Uh, my advice is, I think mm-hmm. uh, if you want to do your sneaky sneaky stuff, right? Uh, uh not yeah. yet, but yes, not yet. Eventually, because uh, I was gonna suggest maybe you sneaking around and checking out Point Delta and then moving back up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we're we're all in agreement there. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm going over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. No and, need to overcharge yet. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to hide? Uh, can I overcharge and hide? Uh, you didn't even use it yet. You boosted once and moved, I think, right? Uh, I, I, so what I did is that essentially I did one full tech to essentially gotcha. use okay. uh, yeah. bolster twice, yes. and then I needed to boost, uh, and then I needed to overcharge to, uh, no, and then I needed to do it once again because with the, the, the uh, yeah, okay. effect of the Chumalonga. Yep. Yeah, and so I then say, I needed. Um, you guys can start anywhere in your deployment zone, by the way. So, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh yes. yeah. So okay. I could start here. Yeah, and then you would have enough space uh, to move down, and yeah. Oh okay, okay, awesome, awesome. That's that's amazing. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there you go. That's my turn. <laughs> Everyone All bolstered. Right. Yeah. Nice. All right. So that's a good turn. That's good. Uh, that's a good mark for you. Um, next, we're gonna have someone else go. Uh, so next up, the enemy cataphract is gonna go for it. Uh, it moves all the way over there with its standard move. And then it is going to immediately uh, boost to get over here as well. And uh, it is going to... Uh, ooh. That would trigger my uh, set it action. Would. It would, yeah, go for it. It has hardcover, but it triggers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so she's gonna, she's gonna see... Uh, the enemy pop out and go, oh, hostile, and then immediately fire at it with her assault rifle. All right, sounds let's, good. Let's go. Uh, in this case, rattle him, boys. Uh, he has hardcover or soft cover? Uh, he has a hardcover because he's hard behind cover. size one object, hardcover. Boom. Okay. Wow, that actually might still hit. Damn. Nice. Yep, still hits. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Three. So that does three. Um, as you fire out some shots and manage to wing this thing before it successfully gets in its cover, as it kind of bounces down there, and, uh, it, uh, make me a read the situation check. Oh, uh, lovely. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Spice. This is going to be a rare case where this mech, uh, out of mech skill is going to be important here. Ooh, awesome. Okay. Grab. As, pilot. Uh, I'll just say it now because I should say, I tell you what its actions are doing. It takes a search action. Ooh. Mm. Oh, it's also that, you looking understand. for something. It, you know it's looking for something, and then you realize something else. The scattered movements. Moving as well. They're they as don't have comms either. Yeah, they're, they're as confused, confused as, as we are. are. They don't know where the point oh. is. They're they don't know where the point too. is. <laughs> they, they're looking. Uh, Sedi's immediately going to go, <clears throat> okay, everyone. They are just as confused as we are. It seems like the ash cloud is impacting them as well. They're looking for the optimal place to set up comms. Yo, I love this. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> right, sorry, uh, sorry. That's <laughs> his turn. That's his turn. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, with that, who's going next? Ah. Uh, Wait. So, so what do you what do you want to do? Do you do you do uh, James uh, and James and me? Do you want to? 
move up to like through the top path to point alpha? Um, I was thinking of following up through um to Bravo. Yeah. Uh, okay. That way I can like. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be since I'm like the front line. I don't want to be too true, far true, true, true. up and out of the way. Uh, also, uh, just to read a uh, use your, just to, use like, your core power. Also, James, what's that? You should use yeah. your core power. It gives you a free extra move every single turn. The earlier you pop it, the better. Okay. Um, where's my core? <clears throat> it's um, it's on your character sheet. There's like a core power thing. It gives you an additional free boost every turn and plus one accuracy on all attacks. It's so fucking strong, bro. <laughs> cool. I didn't see that on my uh. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. So, oh, uh, there it is. Base. Yep, there you go. So mm -hmm. I'll just mark that you used it and uh, just keep that in mind. You get your bonuses. I'll put it so on So you your can turn. functionally get free double moves yep. and then you can even triple move if you also boost. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I just. Oh, it, oh, it's the battery. Yeah, become as speed, bro. <laughs> okay. Become speed. Uh, I am going to move right about here. Mm -hmm. And then boost to bring myself right around here. And then you can even boost again. You've still got your two quick actions. Yeah. All that use, shit you just did was free. You can use one of <laughs> nice. your one of your two quick actions to move again. So you can literally <laughs> get up, try to get up on this. You can here. get on point Bravo if you overcharge. Uh, okay. Can I attack <laughs> on top of that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, fuck it. I'll, uh, I'll overcharge a little bit. Come in. All right. And uh, go in for a swing. All right. So, and because you had a free boost and an overcharge there, is that a skirmish or a barrage action? Actually, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's got to, it's got to be a skirmish. Don't, don't, it's got to uh, be a skirmish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And don't forget the heat from overcharge. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you, uh, you don't, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, Christian, <laughs> does my overcharge reset from the last scene? Nope. Fuck yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Overcharging. Yeah. <laughs> yep, there you go. So, uh, where's my heat? Oh, you're, you could so, uh, click your overcharge button in this case. Yep. Yeah, if, if you oh. don't have that on your thing, uh, if you double click your uh, uh, icon, <laughs> then you'll see like a dice that says overcharge and just click that and then it'll automate your thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, ba -ba. Red Comet. <laughs> Red Comet. Dun! Dun! <laughs> Oh, go in. Get hit him with that heat hawk. Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I think, then, I think I did it. Uh, um, uh, I'll click it for you. Yeah. There you go. Oh, three heat. Okay. Now going for that hit. Hit him with that? That's sticky. Sticky. Is that a hitty with the sticky? I think that's it. That's a hitty <laughs> sticky. All right. Nice. Uh, six you, damage. Oh. You get him with the hit. Um, Let me just check. No armor. So that's going to be uh, six damage. Hell yeah. This nice. thing ends up getting whacked pretty good right there. Okay. Nice. Um, Cool. Uh, that's your turn? Yeah. Over, yeah, um, oh, over comms, you hear Seti like screaming. She's like, how did but you were just... You were just back there! <laughs> <laughs> you were just back there! What just uh, happened? <laughs> mo it, uh, momentum. Oh, actually, um, <laughs> after you go in for the hit, uh, one of its abilities is going to activate a uh, point oh. defense shield. It has resistance to all damage from the closest hostile character. If multiple characters are equally close, this does not apply. So, mm. actually, that'll only be uh, three damage. Which puts oh, back oh, that's fine. <laughs> so, as you do that, you move in, raising up your weapon, swinging down with a heated blade that smashes down. However, this thing almost raises up a reinforced arm, and unlike the other one that did this the last time, this one almost unfolds out its spines, launching out these metal pikes that almost block the blade and get it caught up inside. Your blade sears into these, but it pulls it aside and manages to push back. And then, after that happens, it moves in and manages to turn around, and it, you notice... It had a rifle, but then you realized there's a long, long bayonet at the end of that rifle. And uh -oh. the first thing he does with it is he's just going to straight up charge in and try to ram you with it. As he swings in oh, and nice. misses as you barely raise up your shield as it slides off against it and almost drifts off to the side. Um, okay. Um, and then 
Uh, after it does that, um, it is just going to... Uh, it's going to use its trample ability. Oh. The Catacrack ignores engagement and can pass through but not stop in spaces occupied by other characters, dealing once per turn, dealing two kinetic damage to you. So it is going to move past and over you, oh. and then move on over here to duck behind this cover from further ranged attacks. So you take two damage uh, <laughs> as it almost almost whips its arm, the same one it used to block with the spines, knocking you back, hitting you with those spines, and then boosting out or over in this direction. <clears throat> so, yeah, that'll be two damage to... Oh, that's not... Yeah, ignore it. that structure. Oh, no, but... <laughs> I, no, no. You're at 10. <laughs> um, Asher? Or uh, the AP, uh, APC. Uh, let me look at something real quick. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I can go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start like right up here. And so uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to move my movement, which is uh, how much movement do I got? I got like four, right? Yeah, I got a, I got a yeah. speed of four, yeah. so I can like mm -hmm. right here. And uh, mm -hmm. if I take my ruler, uh, no, that's the the blast thing again. Fuck, wrong thing. Uh, take my ruler that thing's within my sensors of seven mm -hmm. right yes. uh so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna full tech Ooh. i see i see uh and i'm going to lock on and then i'm gonna expend that lock on for the tech attack all right and because you're locking on tech attacks also just in general ignore cover yeah so, so you're just gonna get a plus nice. one two uh so that evens out the negative you're gonna get to a flat rate so just and flat, just yeah. flat mm -hmm. just flat so i get a difficulty so it's just a normal roll yeah, yeah. Oh. Remove the lock on. Wait. Nice. Okay, there we go. And let me roll. Fuck! Oh, damn. 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 You fire forward, and however, unfortunately, this thing is just. It's too difficult to understand quite how to use your systems and able to hack into this thing. You're mm. getting the hang of it. Duck obviously can do it. He showed you it works, but it's hard to do in this moment. Uh, what I'm going to do now is. Uh, that's my full stuff. Uh, mm. God, should I just tech attack? burst and tech attack it again because if i get it what i'm gonna do is yes. balance control lockout and put it in the fire yeah I was yeah, thinking yeah, yeah 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 do yeah, it do it do it do it do it that's fun that's, that's fucks. Fucks. yeah that's fucks. Fucks. <laughs> so one deep, uh tech attack again so maybe this one go better this one's uh you know plus one difficulty just because i don't have a lock on or anything on it so yeah yes nice. Yeah! Nice. Right. oh so, put it in the fire so it gets plus two heat and then i balance control knockout push your target in any two uh direct uh spaces in a direction and i'm gonna put it like right in the fire like, all right like, so yeah any two spaces it's there and it's uh, not prone. as of entering the danger it's it's prone yeah it's not prone. okay too. uh as it when it enters the fire the first time it does that in the round it takes five burn damage nice <laughs> So it's going to take five of that and go down to four. As you knock it in and you notice flames start ripping up and tearing away as some of the viney almost substances around its arm starts to pop and boil and burst. Like a plant suddenly catching a flame or even just the flesh of an eye burning away in fire. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, my turn pretty much. Okay. Uh, next up. Um, this uh, Sentinel NPC is going to start moving down. It moves over here, and then uh, does a burst to move down here, uh, ending within that range. Um, and then, uh, it's the APC's turn. Who wants to control the APC? Um, I'll sign so, whatever so, player wants to. I'll just give them control. Here, here's the here's yeah. my suggestion. Mm -hmm. I think Christian should control the APC. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, Christian, yeah, yeah. have because, some fun with this. Because one, you know its actual abilities better than us, That's and true. also I just want to play with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, one yeah. condition. One uh -huh. condition. Our boy needs to be piloting the APC, and we can talk to him. Okay. You want to? You want to talk <laughs> yeah. to? I want to. You want to talk to your your first lieutenant? Sure thing. No. Not um, your first, no. Not the other one. <laughs> 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 All right. Maybe both of them. I want to talk to the squad. <laughs> okay. Um, you uh hook into the pilot, and well, uh, actually, one of the uh things is that uh, you have hooked up with their systems. So you basically can understand and know like, okay, mm -hmm. this is who this person is. You know mm -hmm. who these people are when you're talking. And uh, with that knowledge, um, let me see. You you want to talk to to uh, B Bandy. Bandy. Bandy was the one yeah. that Bandy, was Bandy, yeah, yeah. Bandy's first our boy, to. yeah. <laughs> Bandy's our um, fucking boy, dude. <laughs> he uh, relays information back to you, basically acting as almost the middleman comms person for you and the... Um, 
uh, actual driver of the APC, and then also relays information over to the local yeah. entity. Um, so, <laughs> uh, with that in mind, it's going to move. So, um, uh, it'll actually contact you first. We have two routes, Bravo or Alpha. I, so, in my opinion, I think it would be really good in Alpha, because from yes. Alpha, it could then it fire, can fire Bravo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, yeah, no. Everybody on the same page Stop there. that. <laughs> Moving to Alpha. It shifts up and just starts driving. Uh, let's see. It's got to move in straight lines. So, meep, meep. what it is going to do <laughs> is it is going to actually go over here, and then it turns up. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, then I, goes I forgot. Up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can do this. <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't, but they can. <laughs> and then they turn back over and get ready to keep moving. It seems like next uh, round they should be able to just make it all the way over there. Uh, okay. However, um, Man, they do good. have one quick action left. And you notice the main gun of the uh, UEA Gaia unit shift over as it starts looking over. And it notices this unit catched in the flame, and it's going to start laying down suppressive fire on it. <laughs> yeah! And, and if girl. they move, they get shot at. Yeah! Get it oh, <laughs> bullying. <laughs> oh, man. Lovely. So, uh, with that, um, it's the Aegis's uh, turn, which I can't imagine yes. what else it can do. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's definitely a good uh, question. Uh, use that. I need to roll a d6 for it really quick. The uh, defense net was a um, okay. That's recharged. All right. Uh, it is going to um, uh, activate. And this is a protocol. No. Uh, and then it is going to uh, let me just uh, drop that really quick. U -E -A. U -E -A. It U -E -A. That as it uh, picks up and it starts. Uh, moving down on its own here as it's going to go down three. Mm. And then it's going to go boost to get another three, kind of getting behind that point of cover. And then uh, that's basically all it can really do during this turn. Um, yeah. As it sort of just kind of uh, sits, moves into that area and then sort of stops over there. Unless it's, I don't think it's in range of any of you yet. Nope, it is not. It is just automatically I can see that would not work. Okay. Um, now the rest of the en enemy movements are going to start happening since there's no more force yeah. for you guys. As you notice, the forces that were at Point Charlie pack up and start moving down as the yeah. Sentinel, that one unit that almost gallops on its legs, moves, boosts on over, and then the moment it gets close to that boulder, it lays down its shotgun over the boulder <laughs> and <laughs> it starts waiting. It's going to use Eye of Midnight. The Sentinel becomes slowed, but can take Overwatch once per turn instead Ooh. of once per round. Yeah. Um, that's once probably... activated, this effect mm -hmm. lasts until deactivated as a quick action. Yeah, that's probably like Dear a... fucking lord. But that's probably only like a range of three or five, right? And you count the space next to it, right? And and yeah. like, with that it's good old... It's denying me this cover, essentially. Yeah. <clears throat> but in that, uh, with that good old duct tank, maybe we can move him and then I can shoot him with my gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, so is, so is the blue like area the fire? That's soft cover. Uh, the fire is oh, the damn. purple spot. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, yeah. there's fire around there, but that is definitely, like, you know. Uh, I yeah, have yeah, a yeah. stupid question. Um, there are no does stupid soft questions. cover count as breaking line of sight? Um, uh, no. Gotcha. Soft cover does not, unless otherwise Thank specified. You. Now, you technically are not in line of sight, anyone, right now, I think, because of your covers. Like, you, you are yeah. accurately. No, wait. Um, there are holes in this piece. Uh, this guy can mm -hmm. see me now. He couldn't before, this guy but can he moved see me. up and now he can. Awesome, thank you. Uh -huh. That's good. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, smaller units, more of these tiny units that you spotted earlier begin moving up as uh, kind of they begin kind of approach the best they can. And uh, that is the end of the first round as we kick on over. Amphibian, you mean humans? <laughs> <laughs> you, mean, so, you mean people? <laughs> you mean people? <laughs> top of the round, enemies would be going first this time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as a part of uh, this, um, you notice a new unit enters the battlefield. Ooh. Down oh, here, where another oh. grunt, oh. Uh, one of those scouts from earlier. Oh. It uh, sort of pops on, and uh, we're going to have it go first. As it um, sort of uh, scoots on over to the side, 
and then it looks on over at uh, you, Duck, and um, it's gonna lock on. <laughs> it's going to. Ooh, okay. Let me see what it actually wants to do first, because. Oh, okay. Um, actually, uh, we're gonna undo that really fast. I know what's gonna do instead. It moves on up here, and then lands in Point Delta, and it's going to activate. It puts down and a shimmering sphere almost seems to form around the area as it almost seems to pulse again, 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 over and around the area as it activates cloaking field. Ooh. First three cloaking field that lasts until the end of its next turn. The scout and all allied characters will then become invisible, but the scout is immobilized while it's active. Oh. And invisibility in this is a 50% chance to hit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. That's the explosion tool. So, uh, that area, those guys are invisible. <laughs> so let's pray Point Delta isn't the one we need, but knowing, yeah, right? knowing our luck. So, who would like They're to going that? hard for it right yeah. now, is so, the thing. Uh, yeah, so, like, right now, it's just like they, they were at Point Charlie, and the, the big bell motherfucker moved from Point Charlie. So, yeah. We could either take that as an indication that Point Charlie isn't what they're trying to capture, because why would they move that big boy off of it, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, right now, Point Delta is in a very fucked situation. Well, like, yeah. Uh, so, like, I th what I assume is just, like, continue what we're doing, Point Bravo, check Point Alpha, and then, pro like, we need to... No one's going to Point Delta alone, I think. That's, like... Yeah, yeah. 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 We can't anymore, yeah. Yeah. The thing that I guess I could do eventually when it's my turn, right, is mm -hmm. to essentially prepare the area if we need to assault it. Like, put down turrets and shit. Yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, I have a question about firing from this area, especially if yes. I'm flying. So let's mm -hmm. say I'm flying up above it. What are we looking at? How does that work? If you fly up, you will gain line of sight. Uh, you, they will still have soft cover because of the smoke clouds, but you will be able to see them and shoot. I'll be able to see them and shoot. So, uh, if I move to, say, like, here. Do yes, you see my ruler? Yeah, if I move to here in the air, air will... They would not have soft cover. Would the Yeah, would the big bell motherfucker have soft cover? No. Would the big bell motherfucker have soft cover from here? Uh, no, I don't think he would. Guys, the bell is exposed now. Do mm -hmm. I get him before he goes into cover? I, I say do it if you can get out of there, right? Because like if you end in the fire, obviously you're above it, but if you have to land... Uh... Yeah, if I have to land, they can fuck me up. I can overcharge and fly out. Yeah. Um, I can basically fly up here, fire my heavy machine gun at them and just see what happens. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Uh, You can go, yeah. Yeah, like I want to get this motherfucker before, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay, so Seti will Seti will go first, and uh, she's going to uh, move, boost, fly here. Get that get at the exact extreme range of her heavy machine gun, and the mono eye locks into place, and she'll uh. Okay. Fuck it. We so won't. I haven't used an. I haven't. Okay. Yeah, I used my quick. Uh, let's let's just shoot. Uh, weapons, heavy machine gun, don't fail me now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 that's damage, that's exactly. It. That's, it. that's it. 10 damage. Oh, nice. So, uh, you fire forward while this thing is repositioning. Uh, because of doing that, you manage to catch it off guard and manage to get a very good hit on it as this thing almost resounds. You hear the impacts as the large bell-like shape begins to dent and fall to pieces under the fire of the heavy machine gun. Initiative again. Okay, go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are at the exact perfect range for this. We're, we're done this. Fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, Damn. so the second one fires forward and unfortunately firing the heavy machine gun in such heavy bursts while trying to navigate the air, you just can't get any more shots as they land against the boulder or Jason instead. Okay, uh, we are overcharging. Uh, let's let's fucking hit it. Um, ah, yes, of course. The, ah, the most delightful amount of heat. <laughs> so, uh, so visually, how bad does the bell seem off? 
uh, visually it is looking pretty banged up right now. Guys, do I remain flying and fire my heavy machine gun again and risk it for the biscuit deleting this guy, or do I get the fuck out of here? Do I hit and run? Uh, I guess it... Like, okay, so this is not me no. telling, telling yeah. like, uh, <laughs> you what to do. It's literally just suggest... I do... I think it is within my range of tech attacks and also uh, my mortar, so I could mm. try. Okay. Okay. Now, keep in mind, keep I, in mind, I will yeah. advise, if you structure it, it has another structure. Okay. Yeah, that is very true, yeah. That's still... Oh, that's so tempting. Uh, Seti literally, like, looks down the sights. Uh, someone in character talk her out of it. Uh, <laughs> Seti, you're too far out. You've got the Sentinel can, down south with two other targets. It. You've already gotten a good shot on it. Fine. Fall back. Fine, fall fine. Fall back, regroup, and go for another run. She'll, uh, she will drop back to, uh, hmm. Probably like. I mean, right here is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Let's go over here. I can't cover you if those two down there decide to attack. <laughs> fine, fine. I'm listening. She flies out of the. Uh, uh, she flies out of the firestorm and touches down over here. Okay. And that'll be plus two heat, baby. Yep. There you go. All right. So, uh, next turn, the um, the Aegis unit. Uh, looks over and it sees what you've just done to it uh, as it sort of prepares itself to continue moving on. Uh, ignoring this immediate burst of damage, it just charges straight inside, enters into the range of the stealth, and then it is going to redeploy its defense net. Damn, yep. I mean, yeah. that area, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. That's a, uh, that's a, uh, oh, I, dude, I hope that's not what we have to take, but God, do I think that might it's be what we have to take. legit, we weakened it, I've got an assault rifle, I can literally okay. just chip damage it down and timer scam this oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We it's, got it, we got it for 10 fucking damage, we're, we're good. Yeah, it's, it's right. definitely so, just like right now, obviously this is turn two of six. Uh, yeah. They have, they're mm. invisible, they have that field in, so it's pretty yeah. much putting any resource into it is kind of a waste. Yeah, mm -hmm. we want to scan everything else first. Yeah. God, if if okay. that is if that's the point, Jesus Christ. But you know they're invisible and they are in that shield. But does that stop them from being locked on? No, lock on is always free and you can always do it. We can just prep it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's you what I was thinking of, like just staying mm -hmm. here for now and just mm -hmm. just putting stuff on them as time goes. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's the smart. The scouts' field will fade. Uh, you get first round, so if you wanted to position yourself, you could try to nuke that scout because even though there's resistance, it is a grunt. It will yeah. die in one hit if you hit it. So yeah. oh. that might be good for weakening up the field. I, mean, I, I know what could hit all of those things. I look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, who would like to go next? Um, question. Uh, mm -hmm. I am on point Bravo. Can I scan this? Uh, yes, it's a full action to scan. Okay, yeah, so if I scanned, what would I be able to do after that point? Just move? Or... You would be able uh, to move. overcharge. Move, yeah. Yeah, okay. you could, yeah. yeah, you could move still, though, yeah. yeah. I think getting right. to a position where you threaten that dude is probably good. Um, <clears throat> The dude currently in fire? Yeah, uh, yeah. the blue area is in fire. The red yeah. area okay. is the fire. So if you stand right here, you know. Mm -hmm. You'll be fine and it'll be engaged. You'll All be right, engaged, uh, so I'm a... shit. Fuck it, I'll ping Bravo and then move there to keep him okay. contained. Before. you ping Bravo. Uh, you basically, what you do is you cycle through uh, communications attempting to reach out uh, beyond this area. And as you do that, nothing happens. There's too okay. much static. You can okay. confirm that point Bravo is not a point you can cap. Okay, okay. one down. All right, um, I am going to move right here and uh, just be threatening. All right, <laughs> you do so. Standing you are threatening menacingly. <laughs> All right, that's your turn. And okay, so next up, um, this Hornet unit moves up the point alpha, full action scan, and uh, that's that's all it can do. So, um, who wants to go next? Yeah, I could go. So all I right. can move my movement. So that's oh fuck. Yeah, uh, that's my ruler, not my movement. So I can go up here, which is a four. Uh, really, let me just see. What, no, that's the explosion one again. Uh, then, uh, fucking, 
Ooh, 10 range. Uh, what? Yeah, it counts as cover if they're like there, right? Uh, they have soft cover. They have soft cover? Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll use uh, one of my quick actions to move, yeah. uh, move a little Though, bit more. It is a grunt, so if it takes any heat, it dies, so you could try teching it, but yeah, whatever you want. Actually, the bonus would be the same regardless, so honestly, yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah, it doesn't have one HP. Is that like how grunts work? Or Yes, one HP or one heat will kill it. Uh, okay. I'll do, uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll full tech it. I'll lock sure. on and then I'll tech attack it. Okay, sounds good. Nice. Yeah, so I'll I'm going to, there we go. uh, and then tech. Fuck yeah, so lock on, uh... Yes! Yeah! Okay, you, uh, try to focus in on that thing, and you basically, uh, reach out, and you notice that this thing almost jams up, and its legs almost stumble, and the whole thing, like, crashes down to the ground. You notice the... You notice... Actually, this one's a bit open cockpit. You can see this thing. It slithers a bit on the inside, a small form. It only oh. seems to be about half the size of a human, as it almost tries to slip out, pulling itself free of the suit itself, and begins to try to scurry away, running off in this direction. But yeah. Mm, fuck. This is a destroyed unit. As, yeah, there you go. Uh, now next up, it would be the enemy turn, I believe. <laughs> There we go. So, uh, he's got to get the fuck out of there, man. Um, <laughs> Gets up from prone. The unit in the fire, uh, currently engulfed in flame, uh, attempts to use his movement to stand up as he sort of gets up and looks around. And um, doesn't starting his turn give him the burn damage? Uh, it's if he ends his turn or moves into it the first time. Oh, okay. So, here uh, he took it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. With no other choice but to move in order to get out of here, he is just going to attempt to... Uh, oh, I think I know what he's going to do. Uh, mm -hmm. He turns over directly at you, and uh, he activates... He takes a full action to impale. Oh, um, boy. The cataphract Oof. moves up to eight spaces in a straight line. Pick a character that the cataphract passed through or ended adjacent to. They make a whole save at plus one difficulty. On a failure, they are grappled and brought with them. <laughs> so, I need you to... You can click on your mech, and a uh, hole would be in, like, you know, that little tab that uh, pops up when you click it? Mm -hmm. It's in uh, mech, the hole action. Yeah. And also, when does the suppress fire from the... Uh, the suppress world? fire happens... Um, I'll see exactly what yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's a that's a pretty good old check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know it's a pretty good old check. That's a pass, so you do not get dragged with it actually, which is pretty good. So you manage to this thing grabs onto you, but as that happens, you sort of pull yourself away and try to just let go and get the hell out of there. However, uh, another thing I think that's fun to use is uh, to know is I'm pretty sure that did not ignore engagement. Um, as oh, a result of that. Mm -hmm. Um because that did not know you will get an attack of opportunity against it um ace yeah okay it will have resistance um, against you and then after yours the archer gets to do its yeah so like that okay, so, up. Yeah. yeah and actually just to, to say uh it does interrupt with a single weapon so it will fire mm -hmm. technically before all this but you do yours too <laughs> yeah okay um ace sees that it tries to impale it parries it and goes in to cut it horizontally with the, the charge blade. Oof. Mm. Mm. Not beans. It's fine. Okay, yeah, so you kind of swing the blade, but it's going a bit too fast. However, uh, before it even started to move, the moment it stood up and started to prepare itself to move, the archer unit from behind, the guy began firing out and also- Oh, but, but not reliable! So it's down, it's down even more. It's really getting messed up as it flies eight feet. Oh, gotcha. oh God. <laughs> it flies eight feet forward in a line, moving into a separate zone of burn, <laughs> thus resulting in it taking five more damage. <laughs> resulting in a structure as, Ooh. and that's going to be 10 burn and it needs to make an engineering check right now. It takes four more damage. It was at one HP after the reliable. So this is going to be an engineering check. It needs to beat a 10. It's impaired. Oh, it's impaired. 
Let's see. War! Oh, oh, it just beat. It just oh. beats. Yep, it just beats, so it clears the 10 burn. Oh my god, 10 fucking burn. And it ends over there in the midst of the trees. Mm hmm. So, with that in mind, uh, who would like to go next? It's, I, uh, I believe it's Ducker duck. or APC. Uh, I think I should just go last because my, my stuff is just setting up, so. Yeah. So, APC move up. APC move up. So, the APC uh, is going to start moving five, and then it's going to use a burst to move up another five. Uh, doesn't have a full action to scan yet. Um, but, so, instead, let's see. What can it yeah. But, but, it slowly turns. <laughs> yeah! <into> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It raises up and um it just instead of suppressing this time it just straight up fires its light machine gun at it as it just it has soft cover right now but it is going to oh you know what no because it has soft cover it is just going to suppress again <laughs> more covering fire lays down upon that cataphract as it turns over and the apc slides over and starts giving very good supporting fire nice and uh because I'm predictable that way um this thing's going immediately. It's not fucking waiting for that. Oh, yeah, oh. of course. Oh. Oh. It turns over. It rolled a six to restore its impale. It is going to turn over to the side and... Oh, wait. It can't. That's not a straight line. It moves just past the straight line. Oh, but... Oh, oh God. Can... Wait a minute. You know who it can impale. Yes. I know you know, know who it can, can impale. <laughs> I just saw that. Uh, <laughs> Seti. You turn yes. over to the side as you hear the sounds of our jetpack starting to flare up. Uh, but first, uh, interrupting this action, um, light machine shot. gun. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Oh, but reliable three. This reliable reliable three. three. Yeah. It gets a few shots off on this thing, but first, this thing is moving too fast as it immediately charges in your direction. You need to make me a whole save at plus one difficulty setting. Let's go! Okay. Big money, no whammies. Uh, okay. Ho, 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 ho. Back to stats. Uh, where's Hulk? Under, uh, uh, which part? Ah, oh, I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A plus one difficulty. Boom. Yeah! Nice. Oh, that's man. a negative two. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Forward four spaces. Mm -hmm. It almost pile drives you as it grabs you and then takes you four more into the into smoke. the fire, baby. God, uh, you both <laughs> take five burn. Oh. God. Oh my God. Wait, can it? Uh, can it? Uh, get me? I'm st I'm, I'm up. I'm up in the air. Oh, I don't know how high up I am. Okay. No, I'm. Um, I'm still flying. Fuck uh, it. I mean, yes, it can because <laughs> yes! when okay, I said a jetpack was flaring up. Yeah, it's it got a jetpack. Out of the sky! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh my God! Bravo! You got your so, rival after all. <laughs> I only it produce leaps rivals. Leaps up, grabs you, and then slams you down in the trees, almost pushing you down with its lance there. As you feel heat start building up on your mech, take five burn, mark burn for a check. Uh, uh, oh, lovely. Oh, oh my five god. Five burn. I need to engineering check again. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. So. Oh. Let me describe this. Yeah. As you charge forward, you notice this thing landing you. It's taken a lot of shots. You know its armor is hanging down low. As it jumps up in the air and grabs you, brings you down, you have to wonder what the hell it thinks it's doing. This will surely kill it. But all the same, it slams you into the trunk of the tree, sliding your armor down and slamming to the ground as its body starts to fall to pieces. Fire licks up and you notice metal beginning to heat up as this thing's cockpit, at least what you would assume, starts to melt in on itself from overheating of its engine, the fires in general, and now this thing is laying on you in the midst of this. <laughs> Damn. But we will both surely drown. <laughs> Said the frog. <laughs> oh. Oh. The mouth. Oh. 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 <laughs> Holy shit, I respect it though. God <laughs> damn. Uh, God damn legend. He soloed, rest in peace. He did uh, indeed duck. solo. It's your turn. Oh, okay. Um so I am essentially I um so 
Uh, quick question. So, does invisible uh, in if affect tech attacks? Um, or tech, or I guess just yes, quick attacks. It affects all attacks. Okay. So, like for example, lock on would have problems, right? No, lock on's nope. not an attack. Lock on's lock on's just an action. Yep. So yeah. you could lock on all three of these people if you had the actions for it, and that'd be fine. Is yeah. it gotcha. possible? So is it possible to uh, do that cool tech? I move you a few spaces action, asking for a friend. <laughs> Oh yeah, you could. Oh yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on. Let me let me look at my thing. How this works? Uh, yeah, yeah, please. I can do it on a on an ally unit. Uh, if you are if you are willing, there is no rolls. So I, I just I guess I just move you. And you don't take heat, so you can move two spaces to the left <laughs> and deposit you right here to get out of the fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sadie, your <laughs> your comms uh, flicks on. You appear to be in a. Uh, Problematic situation. Would you like Duck to come on fire? Duck on fire! 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 Protocol engage. I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hack in to move Sunny out of the fire. <laughs> Uh, you have to move yourself. Oh, okay. yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Go, go where you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not correct. <laughs> Thanks for the save. Thumbs up from the ground oh, on God. fire. You get a thumbs up emoji. Um, <laughs> Duck is going to uh, overcharge. Um, so do I just click the overheat button on my character sheet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, yes. There is a there is an overcharge button actually in the oh, upper left, up sorry. above stabilize. Yeah. So so here's a question. Uh, so <laughs> you did the thing, the tech attack on SETI to move them, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. And then uh, so you have another quick action. So you don't yeah. need to overcharge. Yes. So uh, yeah. So what I want to do essentially is uh, yeah. over. Uh, I'm gonna is essentially move. Sorry, I should explain my plan better. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I move over here. Because I've seen what the little fucker tried to do over there, so I'm <laughs> changing my position. Uh -huh. um, and uh, essentially, they're all still in range. I want to overcharge so I can get the two bigger ones, like not the brand, but the two bigger ones locked on uh, yeah. this turn, yeah, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Because right now my overcharge is only one, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I yeah. can I can uh, do that. So yeah, so I click okay. overcharge. Whoop. Our world. Um, <laughs> and I lock on the temple and the sentinel. Uh, yes, sentinel. Yes. There we go. They're both locked on. Uh, nice. and there you go. That's, That's my turn. Okay. So, um, okay. So the um, sentinel is going to start his turn. Uh, he's going to full action scan the area, and he's not going to move after doing that. And then start of his next turn, he is going to take the Wrathlock full action. Oh. The Sentinel arms this system. Once armed, the Sentinel attacks twice the next time they attack with their combat shot one instead of one. Ooh. Oh, that's fucking nasty. They're setting They're... up hard down there. Yeah. <laughs> I think they found it. Yeah. <laughs> defense net recharge. Um, this thing is still immobilized over here with its defense net. It will uh, continue to sit here. Uh, not picking up the defense net as let's see let me uh, click the immobilize button again so it's easy to remember that um, okay at that it's not really going to do much else it'll just kind of God, sit there fuck. and wait like, yeah that defense as, net staying up is fucking awful uh, <laughs> okay what can you do uh, little guy um, it's going oh, this uh, hornet unit um the the one kind of sitting back near the rock behind the Aegis. Uh it's going to uh move on up this way and then it's going to boost and uh it'll try to do something. <laughs> I think it's just in range of uh this guy. It is. So even though it's gonna have a soft cover here, it's going to attempt to raise up one of its arms uh, seems to glow until finally an almost pistol blast fires forward. Oh. As, um, One damage! Ooh. Target is One damage! No! The target is impaired. That's fine. As oh. a few shots fly out and an almost, like, pulse of energy happens on the hit that sort of causes a shake on the, on the thing itself. And, yeah, there we go. I'll mark the damage down there. Mm-hmm. 
All right. And now, top of the round, players take first turn this time. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I can get over to Point Charlie pretty easily. Uh, if we want to scan it for completion's sake, do we want to? Um, um, they could be bluffing. It could be bluffing. I mean, the there is a way I'm... to there is a way to find out. Can we have our APC scan? Yeah, yeah uh, no. your APC yeah. will scan alpha. But that's point alpha, scan. right? Uh, yeah, I'm... Jay's talking about so... point Charlie, which is behind the enemy mm, right now. So yeah. here's the the other thing that I will just point out. Um, they have reinforcement coming in soon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, that you know, I, yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, over I... here, uh, <clears throat> uh, new, another scout came in over at the top near the APC, and that's a reinforcement for this turn. Okay. Mm. Okay. Guys... I can start making my way to Charlie to scan it if we need to. I w so that way we can pincer them in. I think you should run your ass down there. Yeah. What I'm what yeah. I'm thinking is also uh, SETI could benefit from being at Charlie because from That's right like thinking. from uh, mm -hmm. sorry from right where I put that explosion marker you can just use your heavy machine gun to fire hell on if you want I was Alpha. thinking oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no so basically here's my plan yeah start of the turn stand stabilize clear heat overheat fly across this shit land like here um, that's yeah. that's my go next turn move full action stand get here and then over, probably overcharge again. I'm gonna be real and start shooting. And actually, my, uh, you can uh, yeah. you can move into that size one because you'll still have your movement after you stabilize. So oh, you can move and then boost and get. No, I'm prone. I gotta stand. Oh right, you're right, right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah right, I'm, I'm Go prone. I gotta I gotta stand. So like, right. I think um. Uh, if 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 you guys want me to go first, honestly, I think I can go last since there's nothing like conditional mm -hmm. that I'm doing in this position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just do, yeah. You go first. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll stand. I'm going to stabilize. Um, let me go. Uh, cool mech. Uh, clear burn. Yes. Oh, fuck I'm it. starting to understand that like prioritizing stabilizing people is probably good because you never <laughs> know if they're not gonna like tech heat us. Yeah. 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 Next turn. Yeah. Um, now, uh, as far as the uh, the red goes, um, can I just run through that, or do I need to use my flight unit to get across? Uh, you can run. You'll take five burn. I'll take five burn. I'm gonna fly over. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's look. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Immediate six. You don't you don't overheat though, but yeah, you I, can actually. Uh, uh, uh so uh, yes. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna run my fine ass over to the other side. Okay. Sure thing. Uh, and I will take the, uh, I'll take the burn sticks around. It'll take, you'll take five burn, and at the end of this turn, you'll roll a check. Nah, uh, no, I'm gonna fly over and just take the reactor. It's fine. All right, sure thing. Yeah. This is turn you three fly of six. Over? Yeah. Yep. So yep. you, uh, take two heat at the end of your turn, which puts you over, which means you're gonna roll a yep. reactor roll for me. Here, I'll Let me go. put you up to, uh, there you go. Let's go. You how bad? How bad could it go, guys? How bad could it go? Just in parry. Hope... You're gonna scan okay. next turn anyway, so that literally doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. No, cool. I'm about to say, I hope you don't explode. Uh, Jay, <laughs> yeah. Right. Make, sure, make sure to tell me before you do something like that. Oh. Oh okay. uh, yeah. Next time. Yeah. No. Next for, time. For okay. The thing. Yeah. Uh. For. Oh yeah. For the thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So. Uh. With that in mind. Um. Let's yeah. see who's going next here. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, the Hornet over here is dead. I uh, don't know why that's still yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll take that off. And um, these two Hornets, sure. yeah. 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 And uh, the other Hornet is going. Uh, this Hornet uh, sees you land on this side, uh, and it's going to uh, attempt to, first off, uh, take a stinger shot against you. God damn! It misses. It misses. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Uh, uh, now, I get to move two spaces. Oh, that's true. Cool. <laughs> uh, and now it's going to uh, use a tech attack against you. Another quick action. Um, it is going to use impale system gun, which fails yeah. horribly. Crit fail. <laughs> um, Thank God. And then it's going to uh, uh, move up a little bit hide behind this cover a little bit. Yo, fuck these goblins. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, next up, this scout 
uh, kind of moves on. Oh, wait, wait. No, someone else goes first. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, someone else goes. Uh, Who wants to go next? I think we got to get... If if it turns out Point Charlie ain't the thing, we gotta have James sprinting his ass down there. Like yeah, yeah. I can, we gotta I we can... gotta get him in there. Yeah, you got since you since you got your extra Everest movement, just start moving that back down there. I have Point Alpha pretty much handled. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, in that case, um, I can boost. Uh, I wanna overheat because I wanna cover as much ground as I can in one. Yeah, turn. so you can so move free move. boost and then another boost from your. That's boost. four movement. That's yeah. twenty spaces. Yeah. Four. Or sorry. Boost would put me right about uh, here. You get two more spaces with the uh, overcharge boost. Yep. Okay. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so, so that uh, you still have your full action. Is the okay. insane thing. <laughs> Everest uh, is, the, to, uh, is the fucking wind. I do need to roll your overcharge. Ah, yes. Thank you. Ah. Ooh. I see. Ooh. Okay, take a stress roll then. Please. You got it. Okay. That's fine. Exposed. That's fine. Exposed. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad. No, so basically, you take double damage until um, uh, you take a moment to stabilize. Yep. Okay. Um, can I oh, damn. move and then scan, or do I have to be on the point exactly, and that will require another move? I mean, uh, usually yeah. uh, when when you're using weapons and stuff, you you use the you count the points around you from the starting point of where you're aiming. Mm -hmm. So that's, okay. that's yeah. a pretty pretty funny reasoning. I kind of yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, technically, uh, I can like scan now. Uh, actually, uh, I'm just gonna pull out your house guard front rank ability that says you get the range too. I'm gonna say you can range because of that right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> fuck it. Really pull, yeah, full scan. Let's get this out, out in okay. the open. You scan Charlie, and reaching out your communications once again, you push out, and in response, more static. You fuck. Mm, yeah. <laughs> God fucking right. damn it. <laughs> um. Okay. So, uh, is that all of my movements right now? Yeah. That's yes. that's everything you got. Okay. That'll that'll work. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, in this next moment, uh, you notice movement <sighs> from down here yeah, as a sentinel movement begins to roll out, moving. Mm dashing across this way, still at the edge of its um, barrier. It takes a look at both of you coming in from this angle. And as it looks, let me just do a quick check here. Four, five, okay. So it makes an attack with its combat shotgun because it activated Wrathlock previously. That means it can fire twice. It's mm. going to shoot at both of you with its combat shotgun. Makes oh sense. God. And you're impaired, so, so you take double damage, James. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. There's gonna be like fucking um, nasty. Exposed, yeah. yeah. So, as uh, the shots ring out, you hear the sound of a quick firing barrel, ammo changes, and in the open, two shots oh. fire out. As, oh god. Oh, um, that's bad. And uh, as this occurs, um, you notice that the temple, as it begins to move, it shifts the bell-like structure opens up unfolding and you see small drones fly out and connect up to this thing as it fires and provide support fire as this goes its attach rings click on to an enemy within sensors and deal additional two damage oh god oh. so as a result uh oh god uh oh james yeah i gotta do a roll 12 huh? damage immediately yeah. Oh, so Christ. you're gonna structure, take two more, and the attach okay, rings good. are gonna do an additional two, which is exposed. Wait, oh, that's too much. Uh, there we go. Which means you are down to eight on your next structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I, have to roll, do I have to roll structure again? Uh, no. No. You're you're okay. just a bit into your next one. So yeah. Uh, you're impaired right now, which again yeah. that's won't matter too much. So. Not the worst thing that could happen. Not the worst thing that could happen. And then, uh, with its second quick action, it's just going to deploy Jesus. Eye of Midnight, which means uh, once per turn over watches. Yeah, and that's if you start okay. its movement within its threat range, okay? Yeah. Mm yeah. -hmm. Which is, is it, range five of it itself. Is it, am I threatened? Or no, range three is its threat range. Oh, okay, okay cool. Okay. Yeah, so you're not within threat range of it right now. I uh, just, uh, off to the side, it missed me, so I aced again. Yep, that's fair. Yeah, I yeah. saw that and I was like, yep, yeah, that makes sense. 
Okay, so now it's uh, one of our turns. Uh, yes. Who would Duck, like to go next? Duck, do you have anything you, you want to do? Um... Uh, so let's see. So everything that I would do against these guys would be a disadvantage. I could lock on the little guy just to, yeah, you know, completion's sake. I could try to mortar them. I could try to uh, hack so, the shotgun yeah. guy to get in and fire. Yeah. So basically, everyone in the sh the shield has plus two difficulty if you consume the lock on, but they're also it immune to your tech one. attacks as well. Remember? Yeah. So it's plus mm -hmm. one. So they have plus three difficulty. Then. If you tech attack, it would be a plus two difficulty. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you'd used your mortar, it would only be a plus one difficulty. I would go over that really yeah. quick to show you. Um, yeah. It's within the oh, affected yeah, area. Right. Characters within the affected area may attack normally within and outside normal. So if you're inside, shit works. But on the yeah. outside, you get plus two mm -hmm. to everything. So so if I want to hit mortar as my best shot, um, yeah. if I want to. Do, yeah, so yeah, tech attacks right now are pretty much a no-go until we get melee people in there. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to mortar it. Um, uh, should I just try to get to the temple? Because it already got dinged and it's like a big problem right mm -hmm. now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start chipping away at it with my assault rifle just to get that too reliable on it again and again and again as many times yeah. as I fucking can. Yeah. Uh, I th I think we should just try to. We got ten damage on it already. I think burning it down isn't a bad yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. move in until we uh, scan the top. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. So because mm -hmm. if, if we you find can... out point alpha is where we need to be, we can just back the fuck up. Yeah. yeah exactly. exactly. So so it, can, so yeah. So I'm gonna mortar. I'm gonna mortar the. Um, Yep. The and temple. you could also hit the sentinel with this one mortar. I just checked the range, so you could do both. So mm, go ahead. Nice. Oh, I could, I couldn't, I couldn't get both. Yeah, yeah. because uh, yep. the temple is three spaces. Sides. Yeah. Yep. It takes. Oh, the three mortar spaces. is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that was only like, the howitzer. It's, okay, awesome. No, it is. It's a one space, but if you put it right there, you'll see the It'll get both. both of them. Yep. Okay, yep. awesome. So yeah, uh, get, target both of them asses. and then get it. Yeah target both of them uh i so i will consume lock on for both yeah mm -hmm. uh so hold on uh so trying to look at the thing so it is already inaccurate now one thing to keep in mind the uh i need you to roll a um oh let me actually i can just apply it and it'll automatically count so i'll do that uh invisible is still an effect on the uh right so, yeah 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 Yeah. okay put it on there fuck i, I forgot about the invisibility yeah Mm. There you go. So it should automatically account for it in the roll. It'll just do a quick coin flip before the roll is calculated and show you if invisible proc or not. Gotcha. So okay. Just give it so, a and I do two difficulties. Yes. Right? Or mm -hmm. just one because I can zoom the lock on. Uh, two difficulties. Oh, two no, difficulties. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, it's. Uh, it'll just be. Um, it'll one. it'll calculate no, itself. No, two because more. Yeah, it'll calculate itself. It, yeah, it's just two. Itself add it on because the mortar is already inaccurate so it'll be two total uh oh okay Three so total. yeah so i press okay so i press in inaccurate i'm already at one and i add one from other sources click roll firing damn <laughs> oh, oh damn. god yeah so you fire off but the mortar almost connects with the light shield and just pops on top of it mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. they reposition themselves to prepare to move once again as um yeah next up this aegis uh is going to turn over and uh it's going to check if you are okay you are um james yes sir this turns over and you notice a light laser drone almost flying out as it prepares to fire at you in the open as it does so shooting forward it manages uh, to get a hit oh. on you Oof. you take six more energy and then you take four burn oh god oh, dear as this fucking thing Lord. ends Damn. up structuring you again oh, oh my god jesus that's so fucking nasty <laughs> a glancing blow luckily it doesn't stack anything worse yeah. jeez yeah you need to you need to clear yourself as soon as possible yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah dude, and no uh, that's all it can really do right now, so it yeah. uh, ends its turn. Uh, who wants to go next? So, uh, hmm? yeah. Maybe good news from the APC before you start moving down. Okay. Asher, maybe. Oh, like, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. if we get good news from the APC, our plan changes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. APC full scan. Um, you get a report. Uh, uh, Bandy calls you back. Hmm. Um, as he sort of calls up, 
We've got a negative. We have a negative on point. It is oh, confirmed yeah, point yeah. delta. Oh, <laughs> fucking shit. We knew it! We're in balls deep, everybody! Nice. Alright. You have your objective at hand. As you look down, uh, your <laughs> HUDs update with information as scattering over point alpha. You can see uh, your HUD tells you quite clear within round six they need to be gone. <laughs> Good. Okay. Fucking lock. And this is round three. This is round three. Okay. Oh god. Okay. I'm abandoning okay. the NPC. Fuck this guy. <laughs> I gotta get down there fucking quick. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, this scout up here is uh gonna finally move down as you said he was gonna do before. Um, he uh. He, he can't, he's a bit far to really do too much, so uh, he's got. Oh, wait, no, he can. Um, uh, he's going to apply lock on over to uh, you, Seti. As Tracks. Yeah. Locking over, you see a light flaring up. However, as it gets on you, no bullets fire. You feel your heart, you feel in the back of your head that you're being watched. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. Okay, I need to destroy those goblins. I'm gonna be real. Yeah. I like, like, obviously, like, you know, there's a lot of shit going on, but uh, I'm, go I'm going to use my turn to. Uh, one, two, four, right? Uh, let's see what my sensor range is. It is. Okay, they're within sensor range. Uh, I'm going to uh, tech attack this top one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me just uh, tech. Uh, they have one difficulty because they're aliens, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Right, you got yeah, it. So it. it heats down and then basically just crashes and you notice yet again another one tries to get out and escape. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to use my second tech attack from the full tech to get this one mm -hmm. at the bottom. So, okay. Nice. There we go. Nice. Oh, um, thank perfect. fucking Christ. Both of these yeah. go down. Oh, okay. thank Christ. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was going to do. I'm glad that uh, doing the difficulty fucking worked out. Got yeah. those yep. fuckers out of the way. And so yeah. now I can uh, I can over overcharge to burst. And yeah. then uh, I have yeah. jump jets. So can with jump jets, can I make it yes. over the fire? Yes, yes, you can. Okay, so uh, fuck, fuck. My character's teach it. Um, so jump jets, I'm going to burst. So let me just uh, three. That's fine. Uh, jump over that, so I have four movement, so... Damn, there we go. And I'm, I'm on my way. Okay. Okay. Alright. This, as you quickly disable two mechs, shutting down their simple servo systems, you notice people fleeing. You head down, you notice the aliens have entrenched pretty hard down there, as their systems are set up and prepared, and you can only imagine who they're trying to reach out to right now, as... Continuing on this, um, oh, okay, no thank God. field. Good. Uh, oh, that would be thank Christ. Really fucked up. Anyways, um, <laughs> with the cloaking field going down, the other scout uh, sort of checks around, and uh, it ends up moving over here and kind of aims up its marker rifle to attempt to mark Mark James. Oh, oh, nice. You're feeling rocked. Your mech has taken so many hits as you feel your mech heating would that up be rapidly. Hard, would that be hard cover? Um, let's see. It's going uh, through the smoke area. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, no. It has to move over here yeah, in order yeah, to do it because it's not line of sight. So yes, this thing moves over here, and then you feel it beginning to scan your systems. You get an emergency oh, warning that you're being read. A good place to crit. Um, yeah, yeah, honestly. comparatively, yeah. honestly, um, and you feel yourself getting locked on with the same criteria that, uh, said he was locked on with. Uh, fuck. And also I should mark you're both shredded until that lock on's gone. Yep. Ooh. Should we give a chance for James to go behind cover? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, pretty much like at the beginning of next turn, but they still have two more things. So, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, damn, so, yeah. The Sentinel Ooh. looks up. <laughs> you know what he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> he raises up his shotgun and fires at you, Ace. And oh, this is yes! this is yes! fucking consuming the lock on, missing as the shot goes wide as you barely pull up your shield in time. 
it quickly locks in and reloads the gun and checks over and it's going to activate its, um, uh, let's see. It might not be able to do anything else. <laughs> yep. yep, okay. So, um, it's set up over there. All right, yep, that's its turn. It'll, uh, it'll just uh, kind of chill out right in that spot. Uh, yeah. It just goes. And uh, now the Aegis is going to fire at the <laughs> Dear fucking <laughs> lord! Jesus Christ. And yeah! Oh, oh, oh my two oh, natural ones on oh, my god. That's you stand firm, Christ. holding up your shield <laughs> begins to melt due to the heat from the fire in your own frame as you just plant it in the ground and refuse to budge. Oh god, round four. <laughs> round four. James, you want to go first? James, James. Yes, wait, James, wait, you can't. The aliens go first. No, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, aliens. Top of round four. So. God. At the top I don't know of round if four. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to play anymore, guys. <laughs> I'm going to take double damage from anything they do. <laughs> oh, God. So, um. Mm -hmm. He's got to go for it. Um. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh. He raises up combat shotgun, fires one. Well, first, he's going to lock on. Oh, yeah, of course. And oh, then he's okay. going to fire. That'll be his full turn. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, oh, six damage. Oof. So that's going to uh, be you, 12 You can damage reaction brace. Oh, yes, you yeah. can. You can reaction brace here. Yeah, if you use your reaction brace, that means you can't do that much next turn, but you won't take a structure from this. Um, yeah, how would I do that? Uh, uh, it'll just oh. be a reaction. So yeah, reaction to take half damage. Which will put you at taking six, which puts you down to four. Yeah. You'll start your turn. You can't stabilize anymore because you don't have a full action, but you can quick action to boost behind that size one cover and have hard cover. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. And also you go just, by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you go. Yeah. Uh, you go by, and then clear you your drop, impaired. You clear your impaired at the end of that turn as you just stop there, halt. And you're gonna have to wait there, but at least you're safe. Yeah. Uh, oh. Sentinel goes again. He uh, full action takes a turn to Rathlock. Of course. <clears throat> yep. Uh, who next? Uh, okay, so I can. Uh, does this work? If I fire a reliable weapon at a grunt, do they just pop? Yes. Okay, I am going to kill the scout before it does anything. Before yeah. it okay. them again. Good yeah. idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm impaired anyway, it, it dies. doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, die. Seti, <laughs> uh -huh. Seti's like, whoa, Ace, looking, are you are you okay? Turns, fires, shoots the little guy, salutes, turns around. Uh, okay, um, that was my quick. Yes. Uh, I've got another quick. Uh, mm, there are no more scouts in there, are they? I, are there, I can't really see past them. Nope, there are no Don't more scouts. So. All the scouts okay. have been wiped off the board. You just have the Aegis and the Sentinel left. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Uh, man, I might... God, what do you guys think? Do I, uh, do I barrage, actually, and just fire my heavy machine gun? We need gun? to start popping these people. Like... Yeah. Yeah, no, we've got to start putting damage like, like, on them. Your, your heavy machine gun is inaccurate, then you get a mine plus two. Yeah, yeah no, that so ain't gonna hit. Three. It's not gonna hit. But um, yeah. what you can do is, uh, so basically, duck consume those lock ons when. Uh, yeah, I can lock again. Yeah, you can use your quick action to lock again, just to, you know, refresh it. Just yeah, because yeah. we're gonna have to go balls to the fucking walls. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock the uh, let's lock the Aegis. Um, All right. I on my next turn, warning for everyone, I'm flying into that bubble and firing my fucking heavy machine gun. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you have uh this is Seti's one turn of warning. Yeah. Uh would you like is... to Yeah. Would you like to move somewhere as well? Uh I'm gonna I've gotta set up well for yeah, that. Yeah. So sure, sure. um she's going to She'll move uh let's see. Hold on, let's let's do some math. So I'm gonna fly in. I wanna use my basic move for it. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, that guy already went. He already did his shit. Uh, this motherfucker is still gonna fire at James behind this shit. Like it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. Fuck it, we ball. Let's go. She moves. She moves over here again. Yeah. Getting in position. Um, she will clear impaired. Eddie, let me know when you do that. I've got a shield I can toss on you. She salutes. <laughs> 
Okay, that's okay. my go. Excellent. So, Aegis uh, turn. Aegis turn. Yep. Um, it doesn't have line of sight on you. So, um, so how does the bubble go down? Uh, the bubble stays up as long as it's in there and immobilized. It can turn okay. it off as a protocol. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, actually, the effect lasts until the Aegis ends as a protocol or until it is stunned, jammed, or destroyed. Mm. Uh, okay. Involuntary movement causes the shield to move with it. Hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Um, takes a look around. Uh, it's Oh, wait. Uh, Ace. I need you to roll me a, uh, an engineering check for your burn that you have right now. Yeah, sure. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, boy. Yep, because he still had that burn from that one attack. Oh, I yeah. thought that was heat, not burn. Okay, damn. That's nasty. Yep. It's three energy, two burn. Oh. There we oh. go. Oh, thank God. That dice was scary. Yep, okay, you don't structure because you had four burn on you. Okay. Jesus Christ. Um, now the Aegis uh, is going to take a moment to fire with its light laser. Um, it could fire at... You know what? It's... If it fires at James, it has uh, mm -hmm. cover, but also difficulty yep. due to the brace. Yes. So yeah, yeah. that'll be a total of a plus three against, but it will go for it. If I roll oh, well, on. then that's that's all I need. Uh, I don't know why it didn't go off there. Um, I canceled it. That's why. <laughs> it fires off. Oh, my oh, fucking oh, Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, James? Yeah. You feel rocked as a laser burns in uh, near where uh, your visor is. As you feel it almost su stick in there, you take a structure. But you don't roll for it, you take a 10. Mm-hmm. Uh, because uh, I'm not going to... I'm just going to pop my... You, I, I didn't see that. It's fine. I, I, just to play it safe, uh, I'm going to use my talent and pass. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, to use yeah. this once, once per scene ability where I can make him take a 10 instead of having to... Okay. Yeah. Roll saves and stuff. Well, so there. Already. You, just to play it safe, so you don't gain any more fucking fuck shit. So yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're fine. Ignore that. There you go. Alrighty. Uh, Alrighty. Good. I've been saving that in my pocket for SETI blowing up, but you know what? Uh, <laughs> yeah. God. Okay. I think she's gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. So that stops them from rolling a um, like. Oh, ow. For not any saves. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I see what you did. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, you did that. Uh, let's roll a system trauma for you. Oh wait, what? Do, does or, does system trauma still have him? Because they take a ten instead of rolling. Oh, they take a ten on yeah. their um on saves. Uh, on saves. Oh no, yeah, the yeah. system trauma is not for save. That stopped him just in case you would have rolled a um uh direct hit. Oh okay. Yeah yeah. Yeah. So you can actually like, pretty sure you can hold on to that still. Okay. Yeah yeah. Never mind then. Fuck yeah, you. yeah yeah. No worries. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for yeah, later. So. For later. Uh, for one set he blows pick up. Pick <laughs> one of your weapon mounts, James, and you're gonna destroy it. Um, I'm going to blow up my Nexus killers. <laughs> All right, I'll toggle that for you. Those are not down. going to help. You are stuck over that direction. You are sitting there, and uh, who's next? I uh, have a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the 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 bubble blocks any attacks coming from outside, correct? Mm. Yes. Technically, the inside of it is within my sensor range. Would it block me deploying turret drones in there? It would not block you deploying turret Ooh. drones inside. I'm going to deploy a turret drone in there. This right. is... I'm going balls deep next turn. That's going to help. <laughs> yeah, so... You How many can I do per turn? I forgot. Uh, one limit. Uh, what's the cost of deploying it? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, just say, yeah. like, if it's a quick action or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me... Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, now the the biggest thing is you only you have to use a reaction to shoot them, so it doesn't really matter if multiple are deployed. Yeah, because you only have one reaction. But that, yes, that's so. So yeah, what, what? So essentially, I have I have only three three turret drones. Uh, I it doesn't tell me exactly how many I can deploy per turn. Is my mm -hmm. is my thing? Yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, let me let me find it real quick. Yep. Uh, you can put one down. I will say now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, turret drones are I'm gonna quick put action it... deploy. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Quick action deploy. Okay. So Could I put, put down... down two in yes. that soft cover around the ages and the... Uh... Yeah. So you deploy two. You can see as two drones fly out and they land and turn and try to arc themselves to prepare to fire on a, any moment they can. So they will have to destroy both of them to avoid you from doing your turret reaction fire. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Is that it? 
Uh, uh, so that was my two quick actions. Uh, I could overcharge to try and do another, to try and do a, a last mortar, or yeah. yeah. You can go for it. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, so let me. Uh, or uh, you can do a, a balance control knock lockout, uh, which is obviously a hack against it. But with my Ooh. empath, I can just give you a ten on it. So that would be a hit, I think. Oh. Okay, okay. Unless it, has a, unless it has an E defense above 10, but you have a plus one on your tech attacks as well, so you have, that would be 11. So if you do that in balance control lockout, you can move it away from this fucking sentinel and also into the fire. Yeah. You want to okay, do that? Okay, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. Yeah. Absolutely. fucking lovely. So, uh, uh, so I target the sentinel, right? Because uh, I could get it... No, the, the, the Aegis. If you move the Aegis, then the bubble isn't around this guy anymore. And you can also mm -hmm. move this into the fire, because it's a si it's a big size, so you can move it. Yeah. Yeah. You see oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, so tech. Um, Let's give it a go. You get that 10. Uh, it does have 10 E defense. So. But, yeah, but uh, Duck also has a plus one to tech attacks, so it would be 11. Yep. And yeah, that. So. That's yeah. You also you're meeting, so you meet the ten. You do it, so it moves up two mm -hmm. into the fire. If I'm correct, that's the plan. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, so it moves up to that center there, and, and it see. gets knocked prone. Point. Yeah. Unfortunately, the guy, the guy is still. I moved it to the direct center. He is still slightly within range. That's yeah. Not, <laughs> it's still but, in fire. Uh, he and is going to take yeah. fire. Yeah. He takes five burn from moving in there, which. As it moves in, the heat starts interfering with its system, its structure. Yeah. And, oh, and yes! Here, and here's also the good thing. It's immobilized, so it has to end the bubble in order yeah. to get out of the fire. Yes, yep, exactly. Yep, yep. Hell yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you for this. This is awesome. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So I, I, know, I know it's like boring that it's just like, yeah, take a 10, but I can only do that once for like... No, no, no. Yeah, it's thing. awesome. Yeah. It's it's super yeah. tactical. It says, love it. Push your target too. It doesn't say they move, so that does mean they are moved there, even within mobilize, I believe. So yeah, I, and, yeah. Okay, cool. And they're prone. God, <laughs> prone and mobilized in the yeah in the, in the fire. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Right. And the bubble moves with them. And yes, the bubble moves with them. I am going to fucking feast upon that. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There you go. So, uh, that's uh, your turn. Aegis oh. goes. Oh, I got a plan on my turn, guys. It will, uh... Well, you know what? Um... It does not break the bubble. It sits mm. in the flames and mm -hmm. lets itself burn as it holds on, and then at the end of its turn, it's going to try to take... Uh, it's going to do that engineering check there. <sighs> it fails. <laughs> Oh, it goes, no. you see it burning, it holds it up, but yeah, uh, Asher, it's your go. That's my go, I, okay, so let's, let's fucking see, um, so I can move four, bam, there we go, uh, and then, uh, my sensors are, fuck, that's, a, I keep doing the fucking explosion thing, it's, uh, sensors are 15, so they're, with, they're within my range, so, mm -hmm. uh, what I can do is... You can just fucking tech attack it, fuck it. Yeah. Or, or, actually, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna move forward, actually. Uh, okay. Uh, get rid of that, really. Yeah, so, uh, quick yeah. action, one, two, three, four, right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, uh, I have one quick attack left, so what I'm gonna do is lock onto this motherfucker. Okay. Nice. Quick action, yeah, there we go. Yep, there we go. So, I apply lock on him. APC! Okay, there you go. NPC! NPC! You yeah. Um, <laughs> it charges forward and it's gonna do a boost to move again as it rolls on through all the way over here, uh, turning over its turret and it lays down suppression over the um, uh, sentinel. Nice. Which, uh, wait, range 10? I believe that's within range. Yes, it is. Uh, as a result, that thing is now impaired. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, it would be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it impairs it, and then we go up to the top of round five. You have till the end of the next round to capture Delta. Nice. Okay, uh, who's going? You guys get first turn. All right. Um, I am going 
to take my take a chance to restabilize. Okay. Oh yes, yeah. That was definitely. Well, the best uh, thing I, to do. I would very much like to do. <laughs> a, yes. As much of a fix as I possibly can. <laughs> you can. Uh, yeah. So even... Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Okay. Your um. Cleared. Let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. All right. I want to use a pilot skill to hack something that I have. Uh, what do you? To basi uh, what basically, do you like what I want to do is I want to use my uh, pilot talent of invent or create mm -hmm. to take my projection shield, which <laughs> is usually only used for uh -huh. me, and cast it instead on SETI. Oh. Basically, Ooh. throw it and attach it to SETI. Hmm. So if I have to overheat for that, Let's fine. See, I, um, I I've kind see. of accepted that I can't really do much with my mech in the current state that it's in. Yeah. So um, what I'll say is, um, I think in in this, who, which target would you want to try to do that on? I would like to give it to SETI because it uh, will provide them that much, uh, a little extra cover. Uh, let me click on my projection shield actually. Because I think I. I think in this case, I'd have to say no, just because the system, like the way it works, I just don't imagine that being possible. However, uh, if you want to bolster SETI, I think that would still fall in line and that would be free. Yeah, that's so exactly what I want to do. Checks. Yeah, in that case, I will bolster SETI. Um, and yeah, you will have to you will have to overcharge for that. So <laughs> you want to give that a roll. Yeah. Uh, Token heat is within heat cap. Here, let me, let me, uh, let me give you that roll. I actually have the macro. There we go. Oh, oh god! My god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Stress roll. Let's go. Exposed. Oh my god. Oh, Not again! Are you god, fucking I'm kidding me? Oh, god. God. We oh. need to kill these guys now. <laughs> you are bolstered. I am bolstered. Oh mm -hmm. my god! That means you have a uh, advantage on saves. Yeah. Okay. That'll be good. So, um... I hope you can do something before I die. Trust me, I'll I'll handle it. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh... The All the goes, trust, everyone. And, uh, the Sentinel is going to fire. It used the, um... Uh, uh, the... What, what was it called before I said it? It was the Wrath of something? Yeah, A yeah, Wrath Lock. That's but it's it. the, the so, two-shot, yeah. Yep, yeah. two-shot. This is impaired, though. It's okay. gonna consume lock on on you. Uh, so this shot will be fine. Uh, that okay, that'll be a hit for six. six. Damage. But he's also in cover. Yeah. Oh, she is in cover, yep. Yeah. Um, let me add an additional yeah, they, yeah. Uh, 1d6 six to that. Because uh, yeah, if it gets if low it gets enough. Below the, if it gets below the 10. Or wait, uh, what's my what's my evasion again? Uh, it's 11. Well, it rolled an 11. Your evasion is 10, so it does hit still. Ah, okay. But I will mark the soft cover for the second hit. That'll put me down. Take six. One. Nice. And then okay. It, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll handle it. <laughs> you'll handle it. Are you uh, guys prepared? <laughs> it's slow. Yeah. It's gonna back up into point delta, and that's. So uh, I believe that's all. It can here's here's okay. a question about the objective. So basically, mm -hmm. if any enemy is in it, we lose. No. Yes. No matter how yes. many of us are in it. No. Yes. Okay. I've the got enemy this. Cannot be in it. I've, I, I've got this handled. Okay. Okay. Solo. Okay. Solo. Here I go. <laughs> Uh, one HP. I'm let's do the shit. One HP. She's flying straight in, and uh, let's let's get um. Uh, hold on, this is very important that I figure out the math on this. Okay, let's get like right here. Hmm. Actually, no, that's within threatened range. Uh, so how does its uh reaction go? With this, if you with start a movement shotgun? inside of it, if you move inside the first time, it won't fire at you. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Let me see. That's three. Okay. Yeah, so he's gonna go fucking. Let's do it. Let's go ball deep. Um, and firing my heavy machine gun from close. What would that do? Uh, plus one difficulty. Um, if it's in, if yeah, within, if you're like, next, if you're engaged. If yeah. I'm engaged. But it has a shotgun, uh, so you're engaged within three spaces of it. Okay. So let's let's actually. You could like pop in like right here. I'm or gonna. It Let's won't see. actually be engaged. It just will threaten you. Oh, okay. Okay. Engage will be melee. So yeah, you oh, can okay. still get close. I I think I can get over here and be fine, right? Yeah, you could fly in the air as well. So you could be, 
in the air when you're doing the shot. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna shoot at the <laughs> bell, obviously. Let's okay. let's prone lock on, like let's get every bonus yep. under the yeah. sun on this motherfucker. It is and to this Plus two, everything. you're inside the bubble. Doesn't yeah. mobilize no give anything to this? Huh? Doesn't uh, mobilize no. give any bonus? Okay, cool. It doesn't. Let's yeah. consume the lock on. No cover. Uh. Plus one from prone. Okay, let's. How does fire. the turret work? Do we add to this roll specifically? Or uh, the turret, does the turret follow up? The turret, the turret uh, will up. automatically do damage yeah. once you hit. Gotcha, oh, gotcha. I've got <gasps> this. Ooh, oh, hit, that's it. Oh, my God. Oh, that's you a lot of damage. Down. You fire down, shooting into this thing as you arrange bullets deep into it. And as you do that, you fire one, it lands into the cockpit, splashing this thing down to the ground as it hits the dirt, starting to burn. It's dead. <clears throat> yeah! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Overheat! Again, motherfucker! Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's consume the lock and fire at this dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, first... it's in range of both turrets, I think. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go, um, hold on. Let's overcharge. I'm for sure getting the reactor, but, like, fuck it. Oh, yep. sorry, I, hold on, I've got to up it. I accidentally reset it. There we go. Yep. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> kind of uh, low, yeah. but. Yeah. All game. right. Uh, let's see what your role is there. Yo, uh, exposed. 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 That's fine. I don't fucking care. Let's yeah. shoot. <laughs> let's consume that lock. Uh, consume lock. Fire. <gasps> I've oh. got oh. this you motherfucker. Fire <laughs> <laughs> up, doing 11 damage as you fire hit it and manage to blast it by surprise. The shield is down, you move in, and it is shocked in reaction to this. Uh, mm. oh god. Um, and then Seti is going to fly and just slam dunk her mech immediately now. Hey guys. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, it says the enemy can't be on the point, right? Yeah, when yeah. the thing ends. Yes. No. What if I use my remaining quick action to start a self-destruct? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, bro, God. it's blast two. Like, That's <laughs> a way to get him off the point. <laughs> okay, but where would you go? On my next turn, I would simply disembark, and then James would come save me. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. This that's... would mean. Okay, I need. I need to tell yeah. you what this would mean. Yeah. You guys also need to be on the point. Oh wait, we need to be on there to yeah. take it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. a that's a that's, okay, a, okay. that's a negative okay. officer. In. Uh, yes. I, uh, I, I put I, we appreciate the enthusiasm. <laughs> no, I put the self destruct switch down for now. <laughs> in that Fair. case, in that case, um, I'd like to uh, turn this quick action into a barrage. Um, okay. I, I'd like to fire my assault rifle at this guy. Yeah, sure. No lock on, so. <laughs> No lock on. Make sure to uh, it. Yep. Remove. Hey, remove and consider lock on. Even if it misses, they still got reliable. But it did. It three. <laughs> All right. Three. Nice. three damage as between your two volleys, you see this thing staggered. His armor starts falling into pieces around it. <laughs> Seti, you see Seti buzz over the top in a fucking hail of gunfire. She's like, All right. Point should be open. Everyone get him. <laughs> You see the um, this unit turn around, and as it does, it shifts over as the last enemy is left standing. You have to move in. And as you see that, you notice the thing's head sensor start shifting. Uh -oh. And that's when you realize that's not a head sensor at all. Huh? A one size mech seems to crawl, one half size <gasps> mech seems to crawl out from the top, hopping oh. down, landing next to the mech. And the other mech seems to stiffen up like a turret and starts beginning to prepare to fire at you. Sick, oh. bro! Wait, 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 fuck. So there's two mechs now? Or is it one? Yes. Oh, fuck. One of them is a. Shit. One of them. It's just this like one my hunters! And oh. as it does that, it raises up and fires its combat shotgun at the air at you. Oh! 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 Missed oh! Two. Oh! Ace. The other one. I'm yeah, gonna die. Hold on. I'm gonna move. Also, did we get anything from the turrets when I hit with my uh, assault rifle? Uh, yes, you did. Oh, lovely. Okay. She's... Man, said he's going all in. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, getting yeah, yeah. close. 
you okay then you go down all the way there and then uh this one moves forward in this direction and then it is going to take its last quick action uh seti uh you notice it raises up a pistol that looks like a slugger something so primitive and almost you could find on earth but in this case, you also notice the design. It is certainly alien, the way it fires out these shards and almost seem to trace and try to click in at you. This thing fires out four shots, and then both they pierce through your armor efficiently as they almost melt it on impact, and you take a structure. Oh, oh oops, I deleted my oh, hot damn. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 there we go, sorry. Uh, drop me this. Mm -hmm. One, and then zero again. I will, uh... There we go. Lady mm -hmm. is taking structure damage. Let's go! All right. How bad could it be? Ooh, okay. impaired. Fuck yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you aware of your? There it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, and then you take uh three more damage after that. So there's, there's one to get you down there. So yeah. Perfect. All right. So, uh, with that, um, let me add this onto the map. This is an Avenger class NPC. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, okay. Who's next? Oh, fuck. Uh, you got any ideas, Duck? Um, I could, but since the bubble is down, Duck could try the uh, uh, balance control lockout and get the top one into the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, w I was thinking. Yeah, you can, like, do a full tech lock on and then drag him in the fire, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. essentially what I, was th what I was thinking is, yeah, uh, do full tech, lock on, and try, yeah, the, uh, the consu then consume lock on and try the... Uh, uh, balance control lockout to uh, invade yeah. it and fucking get yeah, into yeah, fire yeah. and out yeah, of the yeah. point delta. Yeah, that, that's, oh. that seems like the strat this time around, yeah. Uh, Ungris also pointed out that I was exposed for that, so I took some more That's damage. true. Jesus. Thank you. Okay. It's good to know. Uh, yeah, you'll take uh, an extra, There we go. Uh, yeah. I got it. Okay, cool, cool. Good, good. Alrighty. Who's next? Duck. Again. Duck. Duck. Do it. Okay, yeah. So, uh, okay, so click on my mech. T on that fucking thing. Uh, choo -choo -choo -choo. I want tech. Uh, okay, consume lock on plus one. So I don't. Uh, do I have any um, uh, difficulty that I need to add for this? Uh, uh, the just exotic for it, thing. Just for it being alien, you get one difficulty. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So essentially, it's back to zero. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big money, no whammies. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yes! There you go. Okay. So you're moving it into the fire. I'm moving it into the fire. We love I'm moving, moving it into the fire. Into the fire. <laughs> it takes a structure damage as you see this thing lumbering, almost aut autonomously, kind of moving on over, sort of twitching as it moves. It walks into the fire and almost sits straight up as the fire starts leaking its way up its leg. Yeah, it's also prone. It takes a weapon mount that is destroyed, which means it loses its, uh, uh, no, it's gonna blow up its retractable sword. It doesn't need yeah, that yeah. shit. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. It's already slowed and, uh, impaired permanently due to being, uh, only autonomous right now. Okay, APC. APC? APC! Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, no, that, that wasn't a, that was a, um, yeah, involuntary uh, movement. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So the APC turns. It goes over this direction, um, and then it's going to turn down and go five down this way. <laughs> I love watching this uh, thing turn. I, yeah. I <laughs> love it. I, I, I'll order the APC to fire at this motherfucker. Okay, it'll do so. Uh, it goes up and fires. It's impaired right now, and there's soft cover actually. Oh, Doesn't oh, matter. Yeah. Five nice. damage. Okay, as so the unit down there starts getting hit. Okay, here's my plan. Okay, so mm -hmm. I can do the balance control lockout thing on the on this thing down here in the fire, and if it yeah. lands, it get it becomes immobilized. Oh, lovely! Yeah. And gets stuck there. That thing's at 10 HP. I think it only has one structure. You can kill that thing. Yeah, we gotta get its ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this thing we're gonna keep in the fire, and that thing we kill. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm it. gonna move. Uh, probably like uh, right right here just so i can go mm -hmm. in melee if i need to uh i'm going to uh full tech again on mm -hmm. this guy gaining a lock on to it and then also uh doing my tech attack uh so yeah so here we go uh so that's lock on it has a difficulty so this is just normal does do tech attacks gain advantages on prone targets i don't think it does uh no okay 
then bring we just roll. Yeah! Yes! Yeah, yes! it's immobilized. Yeah, it's immobilized, and plus it takes two heats from all these tech attacks, so. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Be oh. So oh. it's immobilized, and then I'm going to, uh, what is it? I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to overcharge, fuck it. Why not? I have, I have so much mm -hmm. HP and shit that I might as well <laughs> just fucking, like, where? Yeah, six. Roll. Six. Impaired. But that's fine. I'm, I'll, that's I'll, fucking fine. I'll move right here to enter threatened range. All right, sounds good. Nice. Uh, and yeah, so that thing's uh, stuck in the fire. I'm in, I'm within melee range of that. Uh, I, I got some heat. So yeah, uh, mm -hmm. si turn six. Yep, okay, good, good, good. Alrighty, so um, <clears throat> turn six we go. We go to the top of the round and player uh, NPCs go first, of yeah. course. Yeah. Um, as uh, you get in on range and you notice that this thing uh, let me just read this carefully. Okay. You realize that this guy puts away the pistol he held and he pulls out this shotgun that he <laughs> raises up and fires at you. It gets an extra difficulty because of this, but he fires it all the same. Ooh. That's fine. That's fine. You agility take 10 check. energy damage. And I do agil and make agility, an agility check. check. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's fine. Uh, I got no bonuses and shit to this, so... 10. Uh, you, 11. You oh, were, yeah, did you, okay, did you have to on. do a check what? between my oh, bolster and now? Uh, no, I haven't done no. it. No, I haven't done so it. And you have bolster. it. Yes. Yeah, so I Because passed. I have size up and it can, it still, it's, it it's stays on until you It is a it. save, so you'd have to pass a save number, so let me just roll the extra bonus there for you. Uh, okay, you pass. So, yeah. you manage nice. to stay standing Ooh. as this shell, this energy blast knocks into you and knocks you down to 4 HP. Yeah, yeah. Um, he tosses down the shotgun and pulls out the pistol again, um, and yeah, then yeah. fires at his barrage since yeah. he's not moving or doing anything else as he fires this one at you. Jesus! Ugh. That's fine. Taking you a structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Taking me a structure? Yeah, I'll eat it. Fuck, I, that, this is the, the first... Thing. Like fucking yeah. damage you've taken. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I go to zero. So yeah. So I roll five. Uh, impaired. Yeah. Yeah. You're not yeah. supposed to see its HP, but that's fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, you're impaired. Yeah. 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 Okay. HP or not, front plan would be still be the same. Stick yeah, that guy in the fire and then fuck up the little so, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was your turn, and yeah. now. Uh, no, that was his turn. Yeah, yeah. No, now it's turn. now it can be. Um, yeah. Right, now, do, no, no, no. <laughs> Jay, do you want me to go yeah. take my turn first so I can put the exemplar mark on him? Yeah, you know I do. Oh, yeah. let's oh, fucking right. dual tech it. Okay. <laughs> so first off, I'm going to uh, quick action lock on. Cause fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, attack with my tactical melee, and I get uh, so if I have lock on. Uh, did you put lock on mm. for me? Yep, I'll put lock on. There yeah. you go. And then I have plus one accurate from Duelist, and I'm going to fucking stab this guy. Yeah. Ooh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Stab! <laughs> four damage. Yeah, four damage, and now I have you, an exemplar mark on him. You oh. stab down with your spear, almost throwing this glorified jackhammer into this thing, smashing his small form You where you probably broke his arm as you pushed him down to the ground, and yeah. it sort of struggles back up, Picking up the pistol with the other mech arm as it raises it up again. Yeah, and that's and uh, uh, yeah. on my ox mount, so I get a nexus too. But this is obviously yeah. uh, no lock on, obviously. But hey, is uh, hey, is this guy supposed to be there? Uh, huh? No, we killed. Uh, that's guy. a that's a that's a cool guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We uh, I will say, oh, okay, as you okay. uh, as you fire, um, uh, assault armor is active, Ooh. which oh. means uh, resistance gets damage originating within three. Okay. Oh, so it'll actually be at eight. <laughs> The I mean, first hit probably would have had resistance to that. No, it it was shot from far away. It yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, now with the Nexus Light, it would be difficult because it's close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then... Okay. Yeah, this... So. This value must be gr greater than zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Two difficulty, fire it because I can. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Oh! So three, yes! it has resistance. So it takes two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, next turn... The Sentinel loads up. It uh, can't move because it's, it's immobilized this turn. It's yeah. got five burn on it right now. Um, <laughs> it is going to uh, take an action to uh, 
fire at you with its combat shotgun, um... Asher? Asher? Yes, yeah, that's fine. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, it missed mm -hmm. because of the dis yeah, disadvantage it has. Okay, it'll just pop Eye of Midnight and chill. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, who's next? Seti? Uh, oh god, okay, so... Do we want me to go, or do we want Duck to try to move it out of the shit? That's definitely a good point. Duck, would you also like to use your reaction to shoot it with a turret? So the the thing is, like, uh, I think what we could do, right, is... Yeah. Uh, so uh, if I... So right now they have both uh, acted, So and it's me and, and Sadie. Do we yeah. act in uh, one next to the other, or do they get an action between each of us? Um, it would go, they would get another action. They'd get another action. Yeah, yeah. But they, they only have one action left on the initiative. So here's, here's what I propose. Um, I'm proposing to try to move it out of point delta with the uh, balance uh, yeah. hacking, what, right? Yeah. And then use my reaction when your turn comes in to have your damage like that much up with the tur turrets and make yeah. sure you obliterate uh, whatever the fuck okay. you Yeah, but also on. another threat that you guys have to realize is that the immobilize is only one turn. So this guy has another turn. Oh, oh he does? So he, yeah, yeah, so he has two turns. So oh, that one okay. turn. Uh, he can get up from prone and probably boost into point if we're not, like, paying attention, right? To him. Yeah. So, like... Maybe save Duck, yeah. Let's save Duck just in case we need to move yeah, his cause, like, Just cause in case we need, yeah. Because it's this thing of, like, all you gotta do is kill this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, go with Teddy, the guy go and, and use the do. reaction turrets and just blow him up. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have... And then we have James to clutch it out just in case. Yeah, no, all we right, got yeah. this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're good. Uh, so you'll go. Um, so this guy, does he have line of sight on me right now? He's He's yes. got smoke. He's got this big yes. fucker. Okay. Um, okay. You're so, exposed, by the way, also, yeah. I am. I might just barrage from exactly where I am. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Fair. Okay, so this guy has Both lock on. Both will have soft cover. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, but he's got lock on and exemplar's mark. Yes. And I'm gonna be firing my uh, assault rifle multiple yes. times. So go like, for fuck it. it, fuck it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Let me go. Let me go heavy machine gun first of all. This would be. Oh fuck! I'm impaired. That's that's actually pretty dangerous. Um, I might I might move. I might move and take the risk here. Okay, go for <laughs> it. It might be worth it. Um, I've got hard cover from the guy, so like. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I've got a hardcover and he's impaired. What's what are the odds, bro? What are the <laughs> odds, bro? Uh, we'll take a shot. Any okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh she will move. Hmm. Yeah, she'll move over to uh here, I guess. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Ooh. What are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> you Jesus take uh Christ. you take twelve damage. It's fine, it's Chuck, fine, it's yep. fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. So, so I go to zero. Mm -hmm. Structure. Impaired. That's fine. You're already okay. impaired. That's fine. I was already yeah. impaired. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And then you take uh, uh, seven more. Seven more. Okay. So you go down. Minus seven. I got it. Oh, oops. Nope. <laughs> we both yeah, had sorry it. about that. Yep, you're right. That's fine. Just put yourself back up. Okay. There you go. Okay. From here, let's shoot. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go for it. Uh, Shoot him. Heavy machine gun, consuming lock, uh, no cover, exemplar's mark, Jesus Christ, let's... Exemplar's mark. Oh! Exemplar's mark. No, 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 no. You yeah, get, you get I to, re-roll it. Yeah, you can re-roll it and take the next result. Yeah, no, I, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah I might want to try that one, yeah. Yeah, let's, uh... What are the odds of rolling one What are the twice? odds? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, barrage assault rifle. All right. Let's go, motherfuckers. Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. overheat, baby. Within three, guy? so it goes down to one. Which means Overcharge. Uh-huh. You take a stress. Let's go. Exposed. Exposed. Oh, There's... man. Okay. So, heavy machine gun. So, do we trust in the heavy machine gun? Uh, I mean, it can uh, kill it. If it Lock-on's gone. It could so. kill it. Lock-on's gone. And you're impaired. Oh, it only took one damage from that. It's the dangerous thing. Yeah, yeah. It's got one armor. 
No, it had resistance. No, no, it has resistance, resistance oh, range, if you're in range. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So, hmm. Damn, I should have I should have moved to a slightly different space. Uh, well, nothing to it but to do it. Let's fire the fucking let's heavy go. machine gun, bros. Oh, let's, let's, go. Go. let's fucking go. Uh, I think it's like this. <gasps> Overkill, <Yeah>. baby! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! That halves mm. down. Eight and a half is four. Oh, it's in one thing. HP! It's in one HP! Wait, wait, wait. The turret? The, the turret. turret! The turret! The turret! Use your reaction to the turret! Duck, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> it does one damage because of the resistance. Yes! And it hits and this thing's down. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny watches in slow motion as she pumps everything into this. She watches her guns start to overheat, literally melting in her hands. Every shot hitting the target. Bullet holes punch through the thing, and the heavy machine gun drops to the ground, catching a flame. But it's still standing, just in time for this beautiful motherfucker over there to hit the button! <laughs> Oh, Holy God. fuck, bro! God. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> but we're not over yet. No. Lassius' turn. It's going to move two spaces and get in the point. And then it lost its blade, so it's going to have a negative at this. It's going to try to shoot you with your combat shotgun. Almost just moving up mechanically, it aims up the shotgun and attempts oh, to fire it into you directly. Yep, Shooting that'll, you. Be, a, that'll yep. be a hit. That'll be a hit, so that'll be 12 damage, which means they're gonna go down to zero and take seven again. Yep. Okay, Seti, let's see if your mech blows up. No! Oh my Structure. god, that's a really lucky- I'm destroying, oh. I'm destroying the heavy machine gun. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. And it's a weapon, yep, so you can. It makes so much sense. All right. Okay. Heavy machine gun's destroyed. I clicked it off. Thank you and, very uh, much. Okay. Alrighty. So. So. Oh. We need to get this fucker off. We got, we got three people who can throw shit Here, at it. I'm going to take the Gaia first. Because the Gaia, at the very least, is... Um, uh, also, it used its movement to stand and boost it. Yeah. Uh, which is why yeah. I only do that this turn. Um, at the very least, the Gaia can shoot and see if it can hit. Because that'll at least get a little bit going there. Yeah, yeah. and did, yeah. It take, did it take burn from its previous action? Uh, no, it will need to do that. Uh, Ooh, let's lovely. do the engineering check. Yeah, yeah. This could be very important. It's impaired, so it'll get a negative to this. It passes. <sighs> yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right. Um, the... It doesn't It doesn't have lock-on anymore, does it? Yes. It just, the, the, the thing hasn't been clearing it. <laughs> been doing it, so... Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, the... Okay, okay, okay. So... It clears lock on. It's going to, um, the, this will take a shot. Um. Oof. Yeah! Yes! Yes! So, <laughs> light machine gun hits, and that'll drop it down a little bit. You notice it's still pretty well standing at this point, uh -huh. but, um, uh, you get a, the comms start to go over as the, um, uh, APC will lock onto it, and then in its turn, who wants to go next? Duck, maybe? Um... Duck can move it. So, okay, I, I will I will ask the question. So, James, uh, do you th do you have a plan for right now? Or or because I'm just going to do the same thing to, like, drop it back in the fire. Do you have a plan right now? Or would you like to be sort of, like, the, the last one in case I fucking fail? <laughs> I was going to stabilize and then try to engage again. You, you should. This is our last turn, dude. Blow everything you have. You have a once per scene extra action. Just get this motherfucker. Yeah, don't you don't all even right. have to if you clear, that's all your shit. Like yeah. this is the last turn. This, this is, is the last, last turn. turn. This, this is your fucking shot. Do we want Duck to all be right. do we want Duck to be the miracle throw or you is the question. The first thing I want to do is Oh I am boy, we're going, taking candidate. Go for it. Yeah, I'm going to clear the critical reaction. And that's your that's your um, uh, that's okay, your turn. Don't yeah, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, I just, that's I just wanna... critical reaction. Fuck it. We ball, dude. Yeah, no one's yeah, gonna yeah, die. Yeah. You. This is the last turn. This is yeah. the last right. turn you'll take. In I'm this fucking hole. going ham. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ace, yeah. Ace through like their cracked uh, mech screen is going to grit their teeth, fire up their engines, move here, 
boost here. Yeah. Try to impale this thing with the charge blade and then like try to suplex it yeah. over cool. his back. So, make yeah. me a skirmish and then make me a grapple. So just do the attack first and then I'll make you do a grapple check. All right. Uh, boop. Boop. Oh. Ooh. Hit. All right. You pierce into this thing, cutting in, almost cutting away some of the spines and shoulder-mounted uh, uh, funnel systems that almost seem to melt away with the, the shit. And then, with that, you almost flip the blade, stab it in. Make me a grapple check. That'll just come be... On, come on, come on, come on. Oh. What's a grapple? Is it hole? Or... It's a hole. In fact, I've got the macro for you if you want. Really yeah, quick. Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yes! 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 <laughs> oh! Oh. Roll his whole check in opposition purely out of formality, but fucking you got him. Oh, you grab yeah. him and you fucking oh. pull. Now use your once per seat action to, or that was your once per seat action. Fucking overboosted back up and he's out of the point. Yeah. Yeah. Ace through gritted teeth. Their mech is barely holding on by a fucking he actually mile. Doesn't, he actually doesn't need overcharge for this. Oh, oh okay. he used his free boost so, on yeah, that yeah. race. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. I'm cool. gonna use my free boost. Don't turn your back on me! <laughs> and I am going to suplex him right here into the earth. Reverse <laughs> reverse yeah. boost back into the ground. You do this that thing is coming with me. The leftover automated mech back into the ground right behind you. And no sooner than that, duck turn, you're here as you watch this happen. And upon the end of this turn, this is it. The um, APC starts hooking in. You already hear comms start going off on Delta. End of combat. <laughs> the APC drifts over, drives on in, and then immediately the tech specialist starts going in and starts reporting. We've got a line. We've got a line. Oh, God damn. Good work. <laughs> God. Uh, Holy shit. So is this thing finished off? Uh, no, it's not, but I'm going to say in this case, the combat is over because that yeah. would be the end of the round. So, um, you successfully grapple this thing, hold it down, and basically you just go in and give it a good stab. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to think that as soon as the stab goes in, the, uh, the gears and servos mm -hmm. that control the hand have locked on, yeah. like <laughs> they are in a death. It's a, it's a death grip at this point. This thing is not getting yeah. away. You do oh. the five damage, which would be enough to kill it. Cause I thought you were just going to be able to get it. And you do. I did <sighs> do it formality sake. Cause I wanted to see if it'd get one more shot off, but it does not. I'm, take, <laughs> I'm taking this thing with us. Uh, so with that, everyone takes a breath. You hear comms linking up. This is Plato Actual. Come in. And suddenly uh, the comms on the bead uh, go private. But then you hear a comm uh, call in from uh, Bandy who calls up. He's like, out fucking standing. Outstanding, boys. We kicked ass. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> everyone. Woo! Sunny throws both of her arms up, takes one step over, punches Ace on the back like, good job. Her arm falls off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. Doug, everyone takes a moment. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Asher's gonna uh, call everybody back. Duck, get over here. You're gonna want to see these. He kind of kicks the kicks the bell thing. These mechs up close. Understood. Oh. Starts moving. I. <sighs> I saw my entire life flash before my eyes. Ah, straight into the jaws of death. She starts moving. I mean, um, yeah, we did pretty good. <laughs> she moves <laughs> over. <sighs> Smoldering mech behind her. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, don't don't let your guard down. They still have enemy infantry in the local area that are running away. Fair enough. What am I going to do with this, though? She motions over to her missing arm, burnt cape, burnt heavy machine gun. The mech is sputtering. Ah, right. Flight system. 
Let's turn you off. Good job, little guy. She pats it a few times. <laughs> slams to the ground. <laughs> Duck it worked. She gives you a peace sign from the ground. Wonderful. <laughs> I've got all the flight data. Oh, man. Turns out these trash cans really can fly. <sighs> uh, calling up then. Um, you hear a, uh, a report. Uh, the lieutenant gets on the line again. Good work. We've made contact with our immediate higher up. We're sending down information down the line. Uh, is there anywhere where we could rest and refuel? <laughs> they talking to us? <laughs> yeah, they're talking to you. I think you're going to have to st establish your own location for that, sir. Uh, make me a, uh, a 1d20 roll. 1d20? Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. One. <laughs> In response, he calls up, Son, I need you to understand that this is currently listed as a no-friendly zone. If any units are moving through there and see you, they will fire on sight unless we can confirm your general action locations. Oh, then I guess there's no other choice then. Uh, so I, so they're asking pretty much where our base is. Yes. Hmm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we want to call in pops. This is complicated because obviously we do uh, have we do have open comms now. We can ask for his POV. Want to be a post? <laughs> You call up Pops, then he answers. You went dark a bit ago. Everything all right? We did great. I'm in pain. <laughs> Son, are you okay? He kind of like looks and takes a reading. Oh my god, <laughs> boy! <laughs> it's it's fine, Pops. This is just gonna need some work when we get back home. Understood. I'll try to patch you up. You get you get flashbacks as to this <laughs> tiny <time. laughs> train. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Leans over to Asher. getting back here immediately. Leans over to Asher. Don't tell Doc I'm actually just as bad off as him. <laughs> I will later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so Pops, uh, do you want? Yeah. It seems like these UA, UEA uh, military units want to know the location of our base so we they don't shoot us as hostiles. Uh, I see. Well, we'd have to come out eventually. Yes. All right. Get back here. Are they with you? Yes, they are with us in an APC, sir. Oh, well, better. Might as well get this out of the way. Come on back. If they follow, that's fine. But send them to me. You don't got to talk to them any more than you have to. Okay. Roger that. All right. So, well, yeah, I your turns to the APC. Well, it seems like you're, it's your lucky day. You find us, we save you, and we're going to save you again. <laughs> uh, he he uh, kind of... Um, I'll make sure to give you a glowing review back with command. No need. <laughs> with that, um, you all begin moving back. And I'm going to call a quick five-minute break here. Yes! yes! We have one more Wait, scene before no! the session. Shut up, everyone. Everyone! I, uh, oh, Bryn, shit. Bryn, I grab you and shake you. The turrets, bro. Dude, the dude, turrets, bro. Remember, remember when uh, yesterday, Jay, I was like, yeah. should I take the Chumalunga or the Everest? And you yeah. were like, just stay with the Chumalunga. That was the best yeah. choice ever. I mean, yeah. yeah, I shake your hand. Because I shake your moving hand. these fuckers based. into the fire was like key. So no, like, yeah. all the shit, like Jesus, bro. <sighs> like that fucking moving purple people guy. is so good. Yeah, like I like it's this thing of like obviously moving people in other areas. It's like okay, it's not that useful, but there was so much fire, and I guess there's gonna yeah, be a yeah, lot man. of fire with all the shit we're dealing with, right? Because oh there's fire god. everywhere across Angers now. At least for now, yeah. Yeah, yeah we no, fucking that's... did it. Oh my god, dude, that oh was so god, fucking that was scary. So tense. Down oh, to yeah. fucking water. That came, was amazing. It came down to risking it all on an inaccurate heavy machine gun throw and i'm like oh so we lose that dude it, and this is what happened in ace's uh ace's like practice session too he had to fucking yeah. pull someone away from the escort and that's how yeah, yeah. how they won yeah so oh my god you're right we uh, did yeah, it no, again that's what he does. they're they're a monster oh. bro they're a monster. that was everyone we did our fucking best we destroyed that shit hey chat how are you cool. 
Hey chat. Hey chat. Hey chat. Could I please hey, get chat. some? Give me some uh, either mics or UEAs in chat, please. Can, can I get some UEAs? UEA. Can I get some UEAs and some mics in chat? APC. APC. <laughs> Dude, I was about to order the APC to ram the guy off point. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, right. <laughs> UEA. I, I I really wanted to try for the grapple. Um, yeah. I didn't know how well it was gonna go over, so. Thank you. I I would have rathered have Doc in the back in case that fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a good point to remind you uh, that uh, if you want to support this show and support Christian to uh, buy fish sandwiches or other cool mechs that he's gonna put in this yeah. thing. Uh, support him on Patreon at uh, uh, Patreon slash uh, Christian Civet, which you can find yeah. uh, in the description of the YouTube video if you're watching this on YouTube. Or yeah, I can yeah, yeah. quickly link it in the Twitch chat for uh, the people in here, just because uh, before we finish with the final scene and stuff, which uh, I don't know how long it's going to be. It might be like 30 Yeah, minutes. I should use the bathroom. I'll be back. Yeah, everyone, everyone use your stuff. I'm going to link Christian's Patreon, where you can see uh, he's going to start posting uh, some of the comp like practice RPs we've done. He's been posting a devlog on there you can see probably yeah. some of the mechs that you see in here uh also for free on there he has the lcp which you can plug into your comp con to find some of the uh custom mechs that christian has made yeah yeah he's pretty good mm -hmm. yeah pretty uh it's the good stuff i just had to plug it right here before the end but jesus christ that was fucking Oh, that was man. fucking awesome, dude. It was close. So close, man. I'm, I dude, fucking love it. Out. It's like, yeah, it takes every time. all of our brain power. I fucking love it. <laughs> every time, bro. Dude, shout out to Empath, which was like a last minute decision. Yeah, like, no, it's was, awesome. Christian was like, hey, you can take Empath. And I was like, I mean, I would be getting rid of this useful defensive ability for it, and it would be pretty much like completely flavor, because this ability doesn't seem that useful. And it was like in the one situation where that ability was so fucking useful. It was just yeah. like, through the difficulty shield, get it into the fire, and that pretty much enabled us to fucking move in onto that shit. That was... Yeah. Everything's okay. so fucking close. And obviously, uh, chat and other people, uh, we're pro we probably missed some, like, rules and stuff, like, like lock-ons and reactions and other stuff like that. Uh, we're new yeah. to the system. Please be kind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't be a dick. Don't be we'll a dick. We'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> yeah. Did Jay ever not overcharge? I mean, hey, man. I need you to listen. When you look at all of my structures and all of my reactors at one, get used to it. This is how I play the game. Yeah. That's great. I spend everything. <laughs> yeah. Every move was so clutch. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, it's. I love it. It's incredible. Dude, uh, Literally every turn is so fucking important. I, I love it. Yeah. I still came three campaigns and I still fuck up. Yeah. God, dude. It's just like the fact that these aliens are like immune to like tech a little bit. Yeah. It's, like, it's so fucking. It's rough. But also, it's just it's like rough. when we still get our tech attacks off, it's just like, yeah, boy, we did it. It feels amazing. And also, yeah. it gives us even more of an excuse to actually study their technology back home. Mm -hmm. So, you, you guys setting me up so that I could fly through the bubble and take the bell down? Dude, was, that was so good. Yeah. That was the hype as shit of like, you guys being like, I am setting you up for like three turns to go yeah. in there and do it. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. And it panned out. It worked. Our it worked. Plan fucking worked, teamwork bro. tactics. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> doctor, doctor, doctor. Uh, I like how everyone took took their their shoot at it, being a pilot, and only Duck remained normal and healthy because he didn't overheat every round. Duck sat found a spot and was like, "This is cozy," and then proceeded to fucking. <laughs> so no shit. That's what he does every, every time. time. Like yeah. he's been in another every combat that he's been in. It's been three if if I count the the, the first combat that we got. That's what he does every time. He finds a spot and he stays there. <laughs> oh, so great. Shout out to Ace oh, uh, getting missed with uh, two nat ones. Literally, if any of oh, them God, were different, yeah. then y'all would have lost. Dude, yeah, it's like this yeah. is this is also what happened every single practice combat too. It was literally like yeah. one one roll from losing all, yeah, every single sick. time. Christian, yeah, every time. Christian is amazing as a GM because yeah. Yeah. it's like it's like I, I explained it to people before, where it's just like one time it's like okay, cool. Second time it's like okay, that's interesting. A third time that happening, it's not any luck or luck or anything. It's no. just yeah. christian skill as a gm and then the fact yeah, that yeah, yeah. for a fourth time now yeah. for us uh this has happened uh you guys are in for a treat because christian is absolutely amazing yeah, yeah. Be, be ready for that kind of tension every time every fucking time, <laughs> dude. Every fucking time. 
Uh, I can't uh, believe it came down to the same play twice. Yeah, right? Oh, God. It's... it's... Oh. Just the risk it for the biscuit. Play. Risk it for the biscuit. Dude, that was only like three hours. Oh. Brother. That, yeah, took, what? We, we've that been, took years off my we, life. We're, we've been streaming what? for three hours and 40 minutes right now. Jesus Christ. Yo, that's crazy. That combat felt like it was nine hours. Dude, was... objective based on a timed like combat is so fucking good. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was the meanest session one I've ever seen. That was fucking rad. Yeah. That yeah. was awesome. I have no regrets blowing my core power in the prologue scene, by the way. No, we got me that neither. fucking angel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brit, I shake your hand. We it, got it's it. like it's like it, uh, us both going balls deep yeah. immediately got us those frames. We like, got I'm us those fucking sure. frames. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We're, our brains are huge. We're fucking awesome. And then that roll we for roll. it to roll a one and not teleport away is like so. Yeah. Fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Obviously, we didn't capture any mechs from that combat, but if we tried to, we would have fucking lost. Oh, oh yeah, do we no, not? We... Do we not have the thing that we? Uh, the last thing that we got the. Oh, we probably have the. We probably have the shotgun guys like remains. Yeah. Yeah, we, but not, and maybe not, the, not impact. Maybe the bell guy's remains too. Maybe yeah. you shot him with a heavy machine gun at the beginning for 10 damage. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And then we yeah. left him burning in the fire. Yeah, that yeah. shit's probably fucked. Yeah, the only, one we got, the, the only one we got fully kind of intact was that grass one from the start. Yeah, it's the first grass yeah. one, which is good because it's exactly what the plan was. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we were get, yeah, we were we went in to get one and only, one and one at most, and we, yeah, yeah, just just so chat knows, like all of us, we literally agreed of like, okay, this is gonna be our one chance. It's like a one like XCOM chance to capture yeah. something before shit gets super before hard. Before shit gets super hard, we were right. We were, we were so right. right. I've the, never felt more validated. This this <laughs> proves that when we are in an objective based combat. Combat, we yeah. like capturing mechs is like, oh. oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it almost feels like we should make our own missions to literally just be like capture, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. Dude, fucking uh, Christian just messaged me. Uh, me getting a Patreon join notification while on the can, knowing you just shelled me the association. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 you too can join Christian's Patreon right now and let him know that you joined when he's taking a shit. <laughs> this episode of No Home and Twilight is brought to you by Fish Balls. <laughs> from the makers oh. of Oreos. I'll be right from back. From the makers of Oreo Balls comes Fish Balls. Hello. Have you ever wanted to eat a Welcome fish back. in a small orb-shaped form? Back. You can Everyone. do this with Fish Balls. With Fish Balls. I with Fish, fish Balls. balls. <clears throat> yeah. Oh my god, god, Christian, we were just praising you up and down the yeah. entire uh, way. Was, Thank you. I was oh, praising you god, so hard. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate uh, it. Bryn just Thank left you. to to do oh. thing. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Real homies uh, plays each other. Alrighty. So um, uh, we'll just wait for him to get back. Yeah. No, that was a lot of fun. Thanks everyone for uh, oh, tuning yeah. in so far. Fuck. Holy shit. Once we uh, bring this back, we can get going there too. Mm. Oh. 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 Please, Please give, give us, us other girls. Uh, I listen. Seti's on it. She's got a suggestion for one immediately. Oh boy. <clears throat> She's got a suggestion for a really good one. So is the next scene gonna be just RP for a little bit? Yes. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Bless. Okay. Sick. <laughs> Sorry, you ripped down. You ripped down Seti's uh, gruff exterior. She's in soft voice now. <laughs> <laughs> All, all of the adrenaline has put her there. That was the the po the post post battle clarity. Legit, she flew her mech into a fucking enemy nest, spun around, shot all of them, and came out the other side alive, barely holding on. No, she's 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 living on cloud nine right now. So he's having a great time. <laughs> yeah, he should get a, absolutely get a call sign for being super blasted. I've got, I've yeah. got one. I've got one. I've got this, folks. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh, boy. Yeah. Look, man, I get some... to I get to I get to get rid of pink already. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got a good call sign for you. Genuinely, all right. I trust you. It's 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 what Seti believes in entirely. <clears throat> Everybody's going fried yeah. fish, fried fish, fried fish, fried fish, yeah. fried fish. She's gonna fly her mech into the sun one day. Literally, her custom skill trigger is called "Swim Towards the Sun." Yes, I am doing the Icarus Myth. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, everything makes sense. Every and then Christian puts a mech called Angel in front of me, and I'm like, <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm uh, perspiring over here. <laughs> 
Oh god. Especially one that kills me and reincarnates me. That's uh that's delightful. <laughs> Oh, gods, of course. Yeah, everyone's like, everything makes sense. I'm like, <laughs> God, uh, <man>. <laughs> Should I, should I, uh, should I, like, uh, try to timestamp the breaks in the, uh, YouTube vlog? Hmm. That could be pretty cool. <laughs> pretty, know. pretty funky. It, like, it, it would be a lot more work on me, though, so... Come uh, back. Yeah. It I'll would be a lot more back. work on you, and they're pretty short, so... Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Alright. Brin's back. Let's okay. go. Fuck it, we will. Okay, okay. So, um, you all prepare to move on back as you move to, um, <clears throat> let me just put it here. Leaving that zone, you quickly withdraw. Um, marking again for Pop's, uh, retrieval for these items. Uh, uh mechs, I should say. As um, you all prepare to move out, and uh, as you sort of start hooking, you can drag some of them despite the damaged state. You take mm. some of the big ones. Uh, unfortunately, the one lost in that fire is gone. Yeah, that's, that's no. fine. We we got we were one. We're talking about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So you grab these and prepare to start taking them back, moving uh, back on over, and preparing to move with Plato Three Two with a complete objective. You manage to move on down back to the remnants of the Ingress spaceport you were working on. On the walk over, said he's gonna kick up comms. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yo, Ace. Yeah. I thought of a good call sign for you. Oh, did like you? Like a really, really, really good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, like I was, I was watching your performance very closely from my nestled position behind that rock, and mm -hmm. um. I saw you absolutely get lit up, and, you know, I thought about that for a while, but oh, no. I drew, dragged it out from there, and I realized what's even more impressive than how much damage you took. She puts her finger up in the air. That move you pulled at the end. Your call sign is suplex. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ace kind of <laughs> eyes go wide a bit, cocks an eyebrow, and then just gives a gentle smile and closes their eyes. Well, oh, it beats the hell out of pink. <laughs> Amazing. Sunny I have, a, I have officially, I have officially accepted my new call sign. Suplex. <laughs> Suplex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm lightheaded. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so. <laughs> oh. Fucking treat. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> so. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you all uh, mm -hmm. load up your. Um, you load back in, moving in with a full force patrol um, as. You all begin to head back onto your command center. You close the distance with the camp, pulling the um, APC in. At one point, despite all its performance in that fight, the thing gets snagged on one of the craters you formed from training uh, during the first week, and the whole damn thing just shuts down, and you have to spend a good couple of minutes dragging the thing inside of the base with your damaged up lads, until eventually you manage to uh, get inside, and as you do, um, the very first people who um, go on inside are Ace and Duck, as uh, or uh, Asher and Duck, as Seti and Ace. You take a quick stop to um, in the engineering bay in order to, you know, you know, <laughs> take care of your mech. So yeah, um, yeah. Let me just uh, drag us over now. Um, walking inside, you two uh, see. What passes for your new command staff here, which really was just a transfer of your managers over. You see Pop standing on the other end, staring at the screen, which you totally just nabbed from the nearest military base that was broken down. And meanwhile, uh... What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, Moon stares over in your direction as well. Um, and Pops is the one who speaks first. Good job. Those uh, other troops are coming on in soon. You did indeed, uh, 
speak to them. They had to take their APC to engineering as well, mm -hmm. and they will also be coming in to talk to Pops yeah. soon enough. Uh, Asher walks into this room, uh, a six-foot-tall man, a giant compared to uh, the natives of this high-gravity planet, uh, shadowed by uh, Duck, who's a man uh, taller than him due to four mechanical legs lifting him up. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, Asher, Asher just uh, approaches the table. And just, yes, it was... Uh, they helped. Uh, it's unfortunate that they know our position, so so soon because it's only going to cause complications especially their current in command seems to be someone with very uh strong inferiority complexes <laughs> <laughs> he kind of considers that oh well i've worked i've worked with a lot of people like that so i'm i, I know the type i know how to talk to them um, and Moon kind of turks over, and the damage is to your mechs. <laughs> on note of that, uh, <laughs> walking on in, uh, Seti and Ace, you both have just been chatting about the recent fight you just got out of. Uh, okay, okay, so, um, who's gonna talk to Moon first? That's, that's the I real think, question. I think you should let me handle this. Really? I... I feel like she'll be less mean to me than you. Mm. Okay, okay. I don't know I'll why. I'll count on you for that. Thanks, Ace. She, like, Never pats don't. you on the back. <laughs> I don't... Deadpan stare. The room seems to blacken behind us as I look at you with an intense glare. Just don't mention it. Just don't mention it. Just don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention it. Uh, Asher looks back at you two, looks back at Moon, looks back at you two, and says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Moon's eye uh, glance over in your direction. Back. Report. Well, Solstice is uh, Solstice sustained heavy damage. Uh, kind of a hazard of the trade. Same goes for. Um, uh, fish balls uh it's it, it's the lady <clears throat> it's the um it's it's the lady the fish balls are You're... in the lady sir oh okay oh. i'm not gonna <laughs> cut that one that's a hell of a way to put it <laughs> she kind of leans over good... staring away from both of you as she puts her hands on the pay table and just kind of looks away right well loss of personnel would have been more troubling oh I'm glad everyone made it out all right she says that was our priority too mm -hmm. she kind of checks over you did achieve further scrap gains correct yes we secured many enemy uh mechs one of them in great condition she takes a note of that in a personal notepad um pops look over all in all mission accomplished good job for your first real fire training yes it was quite satisfactory. Uh, he kind of stops. Uh, is that the right way to call it? Azure? I mean, I guess it's not really a training, is it? You just... Yeah. No. Operation? Operation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good job on your first operation. That's it. He sort of leans over. You can tell Pops has been having a lot of trouble sleeping um, yeah. over the past couple of days. And it seems like he sort of just downs a coffee and he just sort of mm -hmm. stands up as straight as he can. Well... <clears throat> Time to talk. Um, so, uh -huh. good news, Pops. We managed to, uh, uh what, what did we do? We, we, uh, got his, uh, comms relay going? Yeah. Got, uh, comms, you did comms connected, yes. Yeah. Um, you managed to, um, defeat all the enemies that you encountered. No one got away to report in person, and you also acquired over like 90% of the enemy frames that were left mm -hmm. over. We... Uh, uh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. We established uh, some comms. You'll be able to contact your daughter soon, sir. He sort of takes a breath and kind of looks down at the, at the edge. So, thank you. Alright. Good job. You're all dismissed. But tomorrow I'm gonna need you back out there, so 
Get some rest. Ready? That might be a problem for Already? me and We've got setting. engineers. We'll work fast. How we'll tear fast? it down and print it again if we have to. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna actually you're gonna need to, I'm gonna be honest, with how bad ours I mean, looks over at Moon. <clears throat> Not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Plays it off. <laughs> we'll do what we have to do. <clears throat> he kind of uh good job. Thank you, sir. Knowing we've had our first contact now, we've got a lot to worry about. Especially if they go looking around this area. Uh, Where, Where's the... Speaking of where Chase looks around, where's the rest of our team? They're all busy, son. All um, hands on deck. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm sure the engineering department's going to be quite curious about all that stuff you just found. I'm quite curious. <laughs> we'll make sure to forward the notes out to everyone. Thank you. I am for the... positively itching to get to work. Yeah, no, uh, duck. Uh, d duck. <laughs> Moves over. <laughs> if you Katie, find it. Clickety clackety turns. <laughs> <laughs> you find anything on that angel mech? Uh, yeah, let me know. Instantly, okay? <laughs> I will have you bookmarked. Thank you. He actually bookmarks you on his side. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually planning on hanging around the hangar plus, like, uh, you saw the shape my mech was in. I uh, can't do much else right now. I'm sure I'll I'm roll for you. Let me just... oh, fuck. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll, I'll go. Just... I'll go yeah, with you. I'm actually curious to see if any of what we brought back can yeah. be integrated into our mechs. Yeah. Right. The technology is fascinating, to say the least. Nothing right. like I've ever seen. Now hold on. All of you, what? take a sit. What? Right over there, he points uh, over in the other room. Fifteen minutes, Mac mandatory. Don't uh, touch anything. Why? You have break time, and you're going to keep it. We may be killers now, but I still run a pro-union organization. Do you understand me, miss? Uh, uh, you take fine. your breaks. Fine, you fine, get them. fine, fine. I'm going, oh. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Pops aside. Pops all, uh, what you had Pops. realized, and what Pops kind of picked up on, Everyone's still got adrenaline pumping through their body right now. Yeah. There's still a whole high of energy just flowing through everyone, so it's hard to gauge just how people are doing. Mm. Pops, I'll uh, I'll keep an eye on Seti, just to make sure she's doing all right. He Contact me if you need anything. <laughs> Ace walks in, <laughs> turns around. <laughs> <immediately>. <laughs> You, uh, hey, hey, what? champ! You, uh, what? Uh, uh, she, pu she pulls out. She pulls out from her sleeping bag and lifts up her fish mask. She's like, "What? Huh? Oh, you got, you got what? room." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, get in. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Gets in the fucking. <laughs> 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 For context, Seti size wise is like six seven. She's an off worlder. She's huge. So yes, got room. The answer is yes. This is a tent. <laughs> For someone who's complaining about the break, you seem to be very keen to take it. Hmm? <laughs> what? I mean, don't don't complain. It's... Let her. Let don't complain if, unless I mean, you if want it's... her up. Yeah, I mean, if it's happening, I might as well go as efficiently as physically possible, right? Looks over at Asher. Look, it's either this or I have to chase her down. <laughs> Don't make my job any harder than it has to be. It's fine. She would be under Moon's eye, so I doubt she'd go far. <laughs> Just kind of sheepishly nods at that. Yeah, I can't exactly disagree with that. <laughs> Duck? Uh, Duck over there is literally just uh, before, be when you call him, he's just finishing up over here of like, uh, essentially addressing those two up there. On the medical standpoint, here's all the data collected during mission. No emergencies so far. Pass that over to me, please, Moon says. Passes over uh, from the data pad. Thank you, Mr. Duck. <laughs> she still isn't good at it. <laughs> she can't fucking say it all the time with a straight face. <laughs> Oh, taking break up. now. Yes. <laughs> break time is automated. <laughs> I heard my name. 
I was just making sure you were taking your mandated break as well. So. Of course. Gets over here. Uh, <laughs> Doug sort of like turns to face you all just in case there is conversation or you is needed. His posture while quote unquote on break does not change as his uh, flesh legs are always a little... Uh, Elevated from the ground by the spider <laughs> mechanical spider legs that held him up, hold him up. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Pops up careful. His head and really fast. Uh, just as heads up, we're heading out. Uh, we're locking the door behind us. Make sure it's locked when we leave as well. Uh, Moon brought up a great point. I don't think I want to show them the stolen console we have yet. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's uh, the yeah, markings yeah, are still sense. on it. Okay, keep up. He walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Careful, Asher. You might actually get good at this whole being a manager type thing. Well, my position in the company was the right-hand man of the boss. Simply what I do. Now that the boss isn't around anymore, someone has to tell certain things, but I do not intend to take a leadership position. I'm Why more is that? Of a, I'm Without more experiences? Of a, no, I'm more of a take orders kind of guy. Really? Yes. Yeah. What about you, Ace? Mm. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> I gave orders once. Wasn't. Well, let's let's just say it. Getting back in that kind of a position is uh hard. Mm. Looks over. But if I but if I have to, I will. <laughs> Looks over to Doc. You. I will give orders as your doctor. <laughs> 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 Speaking uh, of, still waiting on those blood samples. I can, listen. I don't have blood. I told you. <laughs> what do you have? Uh, d d don't tell him. I have blood. I just don't want him to know. Mm, I that is doubly <laughs> fascinating. I'm not sure how much longer I can play wingman for you on this one, but. <laughs> So do, you, do you realize saying that you do not have blood interests Duck more than you having blood? If that uh, were the case, we would need to do a handful of tests. A handful? <laughs> Look, a it's either, handful. It's either you bite the bullet now, or you bite the before he finds out, and then you really have to bite the bullet later. I hate, I hate it that he says handful, and then his little claw arm starts clacking in my direction. <laughs> Apologies, it does that on its own sometimes. <laughs> yes. That's... Doc, you might you think you might want to get that looked at? I look at it every day. <laughs> Not what I meant, but alright. Seti. Yeah. Why do you not want your blood taken? I uh, uh I don't know. It's weird. Scared of needles. Like, no, what? Scared of Are you yourself? scared of blood? Uh, I'm scared of what someone could do theoretically with my blood. Oh, do not worry. I tend to distance myself from any corporation or law enforcement. Uh, uh is that supposed to add confidence? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad specifically that you, Duck, will make sure that the cops aren't doing something with my blood. <laughs> Do not worry. The only person doing things with your blood will be me. I... <laughs> that's, putting, that's putting aside that whether or not there are any cops alive anymore. Yeah. Hmm. There's the always situation... cops. <laughs> situation's probably changed, I guess. <laughs> Pop is a lifestyle. Uh... <laughs> I, mean, he's, he's, I mean, he's right, but still. Okay, question. Mm. <clears throat> so, we managed to, like, we managed to get by today, right? Yes. S survival. Mm. Mm. What do you think of the UEA? The UA UEA is a hardy bunch, but it isn't something you can exactly trust. <laughs> they take orders just like any human. In the end, before we get an impression of their superiors, we cannot trust what they say. <sighs> okay, so it's still just us fending for ourselves. We just have other people in our front yard right now. Got it, got it, good. Sadly, not telling them and being truthful would just make them more of a problem. Yeah. Trust me, talking to UAA soldiers is not my top priority in the world. Mm. No, I'm just wondering. Like, look at the enemy's tech. 
versus ours. Can we count on the UAA to be a shield, or are we still our own shields? I don't know. At the only, I think they're still relying on their. They're... I think they're still trying to answer that question themselves. Mm. Seti. Yeah. At the end of the day, the only body you can rely on is your own. She blinks and stares at you. Where'd you get that mentality from? Living. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> she shakes her head. That's not a normal just living, living thing. That's a something happened to me type living thing. Hmm. He thinks about <laughs> this for a second. As you're well aware, I'm a retired Cosmo Knight. No. Those aren't exactly units that work with a team. Mm. At the end of the day, you're alone. So that's what you have to rely on. Oh, so, okay. So putting it together, what you were saying earlier about the whole better at taking orders than giving them thing. Yes. That connects with the Cosmo now. Okay, I'm connecting two and two. All being said, we might need to rely on others now more than ever. At least I until mean, we have a better understanding of what that thing we brought back was. Um, yeah. Also, if you're in the mood for taking orders, um, <clears throat> maybe uh, maybe the order of uh, get, get me out of this alive might be nice. Yeah, I'll try that one. Uh, Asher, please get me out of this alive. What exactly what, is you this? Mean, you mean the sleeping bag? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got into this. I would hope you would be able to get yourself out of it alive. Are you guys not panicking? Planets on fire, choking smoke, all that stuff? Oh, I've been through worse. That doesn't seem physically possible. You would be surprised. Try me. At Earth 17 <laughs> is not a pleasant place. At I least see. out at least out here, the worst you have to face is something you don't understand yet. Yeah. Beast. She's nodding. It, look, all I'm saying is I'll take dealing with those things out there than the corporate troops we've got currently stationed up downstairs. Really? Yeah. Seriously? It's one, thing to, it's one thing to look at something you don't understand and see what it's capable of, and it's another thing to look at something that looks like you and see how ruthless and heartless it can be. Yes. When we were approaching this situation, we all were around a table before we even really fully knew what we were fighting. Right. Everyone assumed it was the alien threat that everyone has heard about, but... One thing I always considered is the fact that humans could do just as much damage. Mm hmm. She's nodding. So, while I understand what Ace is saying, they fear, the, uh, fear what they do know and know what they are capable of than the unknown, which might not be as bad as you think. Hmm. So, That's until a... the aliens prove that they're worse than certain things that they have seen, then. It's why. Mm. That's a hell of a mentality. Why, particularly why I'm not exactly at peace with the peop with the troops we brought back. Alien men, problem for sure. <laughs> I've known men who look like them and wear the those, those same uniforms who have done just as awful, if not worse, things. How about you? She stares at you. Me? Mm. What about me? You count yourself as one of them? Have you done terrible or worse things? <sighs> <laughs> she is staring at you. She expects an answer. All fears have a root in something, I guess. Hmm. It's like, okay. I didn't and realize I what I was doing until it was far too late. I'm just thankful I got out when I could. Who stopped you? No one. I cut my own path. So you stop yourself? Yes. She nods. In that case, yeah, since you have experience in this area, looks between the two of you, I'll be counting on the both of you to make sure that I make it out of this situation alive. This being whatever hellish lives you guys have lived. <laughs> she that says, eyes unfocusing. It's always my goal. I didn't care about y'all when I first got here, but now I'm gonna make do everything I can to make sure we all get out of this alive. Ooh, really? 
Yep. No matter how, what. How about you, Asher? It's my job to keep you alive. Mm. So between my between my hoity-toity moral comp moral compass and his uh, <laughs> corporate obligations, mm. I think you're in good hands, at least for now. You you know what else would put you in good hands? I hear the hand clacking behind me right now. <laughs> 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 what do you think he's Spider-Man descending from the ceiling? <laughs> he's just pleasantly standing there, kind of listening. Sometimes the hand clacks, but <laughs> you know how it is. Mm. <laughs> it's like okay, okay. I'm I'm somewhat I'm somewhat satisfied with that for now. Uh, it was nice fighting alongside you guys. Like actually, like. Likewise. When we coordinated the big attack on, like, the big shield and everything, that was, like, we were all acting in sync. It was like I could almost read your thoughts. Really? Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. I guess. I've never been on Battle High before, so... I, I don't know. It was... Have you never... It, do you... How much combat experience do you have? Zero. Zilch. None. That was my first time. Oh. Minus the combat test she did with me. Yeah, which I exploded. But you still <laughs> did fairly well on. Mm, she nods. Uh, yeah, no. Based on the moves that Seti was pulling, that is not what a novice should be doing. She assailed an enemy position alone and is not dead. <laughs> like, I was say, the... you seem to... You're either incredibly skilled or downright lucky. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Wiggles. At the end Still of the day, trying to determine how much of a compliment that was. <laughs> At the end of the day, a mech pilot is a mech pilot. No, no matter if it's a tractor, a mining vessel, or a combat vehicle. At the end of the day, it's all the same. Have you piloted a tractor before? Isn't that what we're doing right now? Yeah. I don't know I'm if I'd call that. Pretty a sure tractor. that's what we're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. Oh man. I mean, like, we we mounted a flight system. Again, Duck, great work on the flight system. She, her, her expression lights up. We, Make we sure balance... to extend your thanks to Bonnie and Helena. Of course. Uh, it's like team effort attaching a rocket to a, to a, to a tractor. To a tractor. <laughs> she, like, sort of stutters, and she's like, but thanks to that thing. Thanks to that thing that we just threw together, I was able to take to the skies and, I don't know, fight a lot of those expensive flight systems on, like, even grounds. It was kind of incredible. Like, with that very first engagement, that guy whizzing around with what was clearly a very expensive system, we managed to keep up through engineering and determination and raw luck alone. I wonder if they have a concept of currency. Huh? <laughs> the aliens? The, the aliens. I wonder if they have currency as a concept. Huh. Huh, that's something I ever considered, actually. Um, Asher, you actually managed to get sight on a few of them, right? Yes. What do they look like? Small. Oh. What were, they were like lizards? Small. <laughs> kind of looked like lizards. Did they have a uniform appearance? Or... I only saw the ones that were in the tiny little ones. You were the one who saw the thing inside the flying mech. Uh, mm. She nods. Fact, uh, you almost think, like, from what you saw, you could even specify, like, probably more of, like, you wouldn't quite have, like, a name of, like, a. there, there aren't many old Earth-type species left, but you'd say something akin to, like, a salamander, which is a popular image used in um, a lot of, like, uh, just, you know, uh, media and stuff like that. Oh. Huh. It's a complicated thing, you see. We might not just be fighting one alien race. We might yeah. be fighting multiple aliens. There's no way to tell until we actually observe more. Those mechs definitely seem varied. Was there a... Was it wearing a uniform of some kind? Could you tell? Was it naked, Christian? It was a bit far away. Yeah, it was a bit far away. Scales or uniform, it's hard to tell. Hmm. Next time, I'll make sure to get a closer look. Well, if it has a uniform that could imply some form of social structure or hierarchy, meaning some form of intelligence. 
At least then. Oh, we trust me. Considering their technology, there is intelligence. Oh, for uh, sure, right? Intelligence is a given, but it might. Whether it comes down to individual or hive, that's the question I have. Are you a fan of aliens? No, it's just. Have you fought hive intelligences before, Suplex? Uh, when I worked at the junk. When I grew up in a junkyard. Really? Uh, we used to have spacers come in all the time for shops yeah. and scrap. I used to talk about different creatures. Something called bugs, ants. Basically, <laughs> ants rely on a colony or a kind of a hive mind. Essentially, they behave however their queen wants them to. Oh. In a way, they really don't have any more control over their actions than. Hmm. What I'm what I'm getting at is, if they're a hive, they might not even be able to help themselves. That. That actually might match with the attitude of the one that carried me into the fire back there. Well, self-sacrifice isn't a necessarily a um, trait limited to animals. I mean, we have that. Ah. If it thought taking you out was worth the risk, I mean, fuck, we did the same thing. I actually have a question, GM. We did try to uh -huh. get, like, because you said, oh, that one was right. You checked it, that was right. So that means we checked it right. Was there a body in there? Oh, yeah, but you didn't get a good look at it. That's the thing. Mm. You'll know what a few of these bodies look like, but you won't know until engineering cracks it open. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah Which um... they might be doing right now. <laughs> no, I just, like, the self-sacrifice thing, like, we didn't, we didn't do anything like that. But what? Well, think about it. If it required you mm -hmm. to sacrifice yourself in order to clear this, yeah. would you have? Were you ready for that? Huh? Uh, were you ready for the possibility? Were you ready for the possibility that you might not walk away from that and can you oh, encounter alive? Yeah, no. The possibility that I could might maybe not walk away from this alive. Yeah, absolutely. But that'd just be the limit of how far I could go. You know. I'm not would sacrificing you, anything for anything. Would you be willing to do that if it was worth... Is that something worth dying for to you? My... Uh... While we were would talking you about... Be willing, would you be willing to give your life even if there was a chance that it might not be worth anything at the end of the day? <sighs> well, we were talking about currency earlier, right? Power, mm. relationships, even lives. It's all a currency. If I spend my life to accomplish something, it better damn well be worth it. That's why you shouldn't spend it so lightly. Mm. On the bright Again. side, at least you mm. die thinking you saved something. Maybe. <laughs> Again, I think we had that on lock. <laughs> she says with a smile. <laughs> as far as probability goes, ending one life means removing any further action. Therefore, yeah. being a lot less useful than an alive person or individual. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm personally very anti-sacrifice. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you're, well, you are a doctor. It's kind of in your code to try to preserve <laughs> life as much as possible, <laughs> right? R right? Hi Hippocratic Oath? <laughs> Just not answer you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, and uh, just that's when a long silence. <laughs> oh, just when you think you know a guy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I should say. Yeah. Yeah. Asher. No, oh, I was gonna. I was gonna. You go on. I was just gonna say your break's about up now. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go for it. Well, it seems like our break is almost up. Get out of the sleeping bed, uh, bag, fine, stretch your fine, legs. Fine. You might have to assist engineering on fixing your own max. Ugh. <laughs> That's fine. Do I do I at least get to leave the combat suit? You can leave whatever you want. Oh! <laughs> Done, easy, boom. <laughs> 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 Throws it off. <laughs> Good. Now I don't have to wear this thing anymore. <laughs> no, keep it on hand just in case you do need to wear it, but you don't need to wear it in here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, nice. If Moon <laughs> says otherwise, though, then you listen to her. That's how I got in the combat suit to begin with. Annoying. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright. You all begin to make your way out. 
Despite everything you just did, still a lot of day left. So you all head out and prepare for a long evening of repair, communications, and then the next day, you all get a rest, wake up as soon as the alarms tell you it's morning, and then it's back out there. <laughs> as you all get on inside, and the metal behemoth that you've been piloting for the past couple of years now, these machines of repair turn to machines of war, march away from the lines over the craters, moving off over into the distance as you all check your weapons and prepare for another day of patrol. And as you all go, the sun hangs just out of sight beyond the horizon, still covered deep by ash clouds. Not even a trickle of light can reach you. It was once was essentially known as the Sunset City. Now, as you all walk out into an increasingly heated and dark night, you all, in your own personal ways, come to home, come into terms with your understandings. But now, in this new age of war, you no longer have a home to call your own in the twilight. And with that, we'll call it over for today. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, it feels good to RP again, baby! <laughs> I said the thing. I said the thing. No you said the thing. You said the thing. Full credits. <laughs> Everyone, uh, get his ass, Christian. You uh, roll, my Christian, man. You fucking Christian, roll. you fucking roll. Come on, <laughs> get him. I oh, am check this homie on the lips. <laughs> uh, and yeah. So obviously we do fan art, but I, I just kind of want to remind you guys that uh, if you like what you're seeing. Uh, support Christian on Patreon. Uh, if you didn't catch the full thing or want to rewatch it, uh, tomorrow I'm going to work my ass off to have this VOD uploaded onto YouTube. And on top of it, if you want to talk about our show with us and then also other fans who have watched it, join our Discord. Yeah. Christian uh, did such a fucking good job and has been planning this yeah. for so long. Oh, yeah, Tell yeah. Tell your friends about it. Tell your moms about it. Fucking just go ham. You guys haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. Like, this, is, this, is, this, <laughs> this shit's is crazy. This is just a fucking start. Uh, oh, God. Let good, me good shit, everyone. That was great. Oh, man. Holy shit, bros. <laughs> Super <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, man. We get to play again next week. That's yeah. the wild part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking yeah. wild. Oh, fuck. Right. Uh, is next week going to be uh, Team 2? Next week is uh, team it's, two. It's paperwork. Yeah. It's paperwork. Oh, yeah. The next session's name. Yeah. <laughs> a whole lot of paperwork. All right. So uh, to the guys in Discord, I'm streaming to you. And we have fan art. Lester 2020 oh. from our Discord put together this Imgur. Thank you so much. And uh, first off, from our Miraculous Last Elite, we have the fish. The fish balls. I love, love the fish, fish balls. Oh, yeah. Love love fish. And then oh. we have a spoiler from Rion, which spoiler oh. will be in. Uh, sadly, uh, Brendan had a uh, uh, whale mania to do instead of uh, no. being here. So uh, you'll see him in one of the future sessions. And then from BH Behemoth. <laughs> my fellow Earth Threers, I did not have carnal relations with that robot. Cat <laughs> Art, I did the art for that man. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, and then from Dorp. Cool robot. Oh my god. <laughs> Dorp, your style I, is so fucking good. I adore so that good. style. Dorp, it's drew, so cute. Dorp's who drew the lads and lady yep. and also yeah. pops and oh. 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 Sky voice. <laughs> sky voice. Come in sky voice. We need precision on the rules. That is such a good way to, that's such a good way to do it. I, I hope you like your name of sky I, voice. That's my you fault. Yo. Getting it Yo. Like, Yo. 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 Duck of Purr! Duck of Purr! Duck of Purr! Oh my god! I love this. Oh my god. We got the SETI. 
And then, oh, from Bombard and yo. the Lads of the Hangar. Oh, oh so that's so fucking cool. Shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's deployed. <laughs> yeah. It's got the cute. Oh, nice. Oh, fuck. Let it rip. <laughs> Let it <laughs> fucking rip. Uh, the boys. Yeah. yeah the boys. They got they in the tanks. <laughs> Love the they tank. did great. They did great. Yeah. Oh, really fantastic. God. <laughs> Uh, Is that a fucking Zoids reference? I, dude, <laughs> I don't the know. robots coming out. Ooh, yeah, yeah Mr. Glibet, we got an ace. Can't oh, so good. Uh, then we got a second. <laughs> yeah. Not love oh, it. I love I love the fire in the background. Yeah. Uh, let me just. This is a sky voice. You need to be on point to win. <laughs> <laughs> I won't self destruct just yet. APC? 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 Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, so cute. We all love oh, Duck. Goodness. We all love Duck in this house. This <laughs> <laughs> valuable turret, yeah. God. It's my duckling. Hey, Pops, you want to know how the lady is holding up? <laughs> <laughs> in the background. Good job! <laughs> so right. I love it. I love right. my boy. Then let me uh, oh. refresh just in case uh, there was more yeah, ad yeah. later. Let's see, yeah, let's see. Fucking. Mm. Oh, and then this game is sponsored, sponsored by, by Literal, by Fish, Literal Fish, Fish Ball. Fish Ball. Oh, <laughs> <that's> fucking <amazing. sighs> Yeah. There we oh, go. Oh, y'all. Good job. Fucking hell. Yeah. I. I want to thank you all for coming out. Thank you, Christian, for winning yeah. this fucking great game. Jesus. Yeah, thank yes. you so much, Christian. Thank yeah. you, sir. Uh, yeah, fuck, we're tired of shit. Uh, Jesus. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. I, uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, see you next time, uh, Friday, April 7th, uh, ADST, uh, for uh, a whole lot of paperwork. Uh, yeah. That will be featuring, uh, fuck, who is it? Angra as Raul. It will have... Uh, yep. Uh, it'll have Will. Will. Yeah, yeah. Um, Will. Will and uh, Will as Helena and Savvy. And as Savvy as yes. well. And then uh, Fishballs is back. Yeah, yeah Fishballs is back. I get <laughs> to play two weeks in a row! Yeah. I, I might be grabbing you too, camera boy, because it'll be your fucking birthday. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be streaming <laughs> it on my birthday. I, cool. Yeah. All right. Everybody tell Aloha happy birthday prematurely. Happy birthday, Aloha, yeah, happy one, two, three. Bye. 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 Stay healthy.